Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be doing a bunch of fun life hacks and crafts. And if there's one thing I'm good at, it's crafts. See, I got I got the word craft uh, tattooed on my wrist. Remember when I did that? That was totally a thing. Anyway, guys, let's do this. Where the heck am I supposed to find something like that? Just kidding, I live 10 minutes from the Nevada desert, AKA America's trash can. Perfect! Right next to my toolbox and my ax, cause I'm a man. <laughs> Originally, I was gonna get one of these because they're square, but as soon as Tori and me got here, I noticed that they had one of these, and I don't even have to cut it now. Perfect. Hey Tori, this mirror is perfect for us to do one of those memes with. Here, let's do it, ready? And the last piece of the puzzle, Tori Dobransky. Okay. No, not candy. <laughs> rope. We need rope. But rope, Alex. I tell you. No, that's Koopa food. We don't. We don't need that. Now it's all over the back seat. Oh well. Benji, are you really scared of this thing? Does it really scare you? Come back. It's just a board, Benji. Come back. Why are you scared of it? Come back. It's not important. Okay guys, let's make an ottoman. Oh. Okay, so I know that it says to drill it from the wood down into the tire, but the thing is, I don't want it to like, you know, if you're ever like reaching in, like scratch yourself whenever you're trying to move it, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean. Do you know? Anyway, so this might be a little bit of a pain in the butt to do, but I'm gonna try and screw the tire into the wood, that way you don't get scratched. I think it's so crazy that it just might work. We got some one inch screws. We got our drill. Let's do it. Uh, here we go. Oh, just went through the tire. Okay, and it looks like we're all good. Okay, now it's time to start gluing some rope to this tire. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Give it power! I've given you life. Okay, first one. Where the heck does this start? Oh man, chose the wrong end. Okay, got it. This looks like the center. It wasn't even heating! No! I've been waiting all this time for you to heat up! Okay, so I'm gonna need a second. Okay, the glue gun is all heated up. And I got Koopa here to keep me company. Here you go, Koopa. Heat up! <laughs> do this for so long and now I'm so fatigued. But whatever shall I do? Okay, so here are our hot dogs. Let's go ahead and cut that open. First one, let's hope I don't mess this up. It's like that, and then cut it down the middle. Dude, I haven't had hot dogs in forever. I forgot how like squishy they are. So just put it through like that. Yeah, that looks good. Now I just gotta do it four more times. Yeah, that sort of looks uh, right, I guess. Now it's time to cook these bad boys. Here's our pan. Got our hot dogs in there. Yeah, there we go, that looks like a good star. Okay, I just realized that I'm actually supposed to put butter on it first, so uh, sorry guys, you're gonna have to get out of here. Heat this bad boy up, slap some butter on there. There we go, now we can add our little hot dogs. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Time to crack some eggs in here. Yeah, this isn't looking too bad. It's kind of leaking out the sides a little bit, but you know, not a big deal. Ow, I just burned myself. I didn't even have the hot glue gun that time. Ah. I'm just gonna go ahead and take all the egg whites out. Maybe that'll fix it a little bit. Wow, this isn't looking too bad. Oh, just popped at me. Hot dogs are kind of cooking. I can't find a spatula, what the heck? There's no spatulas in my house. Do you think it's ready to flip? I don't think it's ready yet. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Here we go. Yeah, that's the salt. A little bit of pepper, pepper, pepper. Some onion powder. This is just some extra stuff I wanted to put on it. Yeah, not bad. I'm gonna try and flip it. I don't think I can do it. This is harder than I thought it would be. Especially considering that I can't find any friggin' spatulas in this house. Where are my spatulas? I don't know who you are or where you are, 
or what you're doing with my spatulas, but I will find you. Well, time for me to go look for one. Well, I gotta do some poor birds. Where the heck could I put my spatula? Maybe I'll just have to use two spoons. Just kind of, oh my gosh. I was so close to doing this right. Maybe if we just do this. Oh. Okay, that's it, I've resorted to it. I'm switching pans. Wish me luck, ready? One, two, and wait, I could just do it like this. Oh, that's very burnt. It still looks pretty good though. I think we may still be able to save it. Put a little bit more salt on there, maybe that'll fix it. Salt and pepper fixes everything. I mean, kind of, sort of, not really. Sometimes it makes it a lot worse. Ooh! Ow, I just burned myself on the other pan. I'm so dumb, why did I put this here? This is why I don't do cooking videos, guys. I make crafts, I don't cook. Well, I think this is about done. Let's plop it on a plate. Oh no! I was so close! Okay, I'll try this again. One, two, and... Oh, we did it! <gasps> well guys, I guess we can say it works! I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit, and then we can try it. Okay, it's cooled down a little bit. Let's give it a try. Oh wait, I have to pull out the toothpicks first. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, it's not bad. I mean, it's exactly what you'd think it would be. Uh, it's like a hot dog covered in eggs, so. <laughs> if you're into that kind of thing, uh, I kind of recommend this. It's pretty good. Also, it is now my lunch. Okay, so here's my shoe. I kind of feel uncomfortable putting this on the table because my mom always told me that it's bad luck to do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and take the laces off. Okay, cool. Don't need that anymore. Break out our zip ties. One. Okay, yeah. Now I just gotta cut all these off. Yeah, this definitely doesn't look tacky at all. Let's go ahead and try this on. Okay, here we go. So we're just gonna put this on. Oh man, I think I might have put the zip ties a little too tight. Uh-oh. I think I need a shoehorn or something. Come on. Oh, okay, and it's on. Awesome. Well guys, I guess we said this would work. It's a little inconvenient though, because uh, I mean, it's just, I don't know, you can't adjust the laces now, but whatever, that's not a big deal. It slips off real easy, so awesome. Okay, it definitely works. Here's our banana, here's our needle. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and sterilize it. There we go, that should be fine. Now apparently we just kind of poke it and then just kind of make it uh, cut like that. And then the next one. Okay, now apparently we're just supposed to flip it over and then we open it up just like that. And apparently we should have perfectly sliced pieces. There we go. I mean, they're mostly cut. Not bad. Well guys, I guess we use that one works. Okay, so here's our cucumber. Here's our knife. So apparently we're just supposed to cut down most of the way like that and just keep going. Okay, flip it over. And then apparently we're supposed to do it at like an angle like this. Uh, let's see how well this works. Okay, I'll be just as amazed as you guys if I do this correctly. So uh, we're just gonna pull it and... No, I didn't do it right! Maybe deeper? Okay, we'll try this again. Ready? One, two, and... Oh, it's kind of working! Oh, I was so close. I mean, I'm kind of... No! I kind of did it. Yeah! I did it! Woo! Kind of. I need some salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Now that's some good cucumber. Well, guys, I guess we can say this... I don't know if this works, but I mean, I cut the cucumber, and that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat my cucumber. Okay, so here's our cake. This is what you call a pound cake. I'm not 100% sure why they call it that. I think it's because it takes like a pound of everything to make it, or it weighs a pound. I don't really know. So we're just gonna cut ourselves a slice here. So one for the whipped cream, one for the shaving cream, and one for me because I'm hungry. I mean, this isn't bad considering I bought it at the dollar store. So let's put it to the test. Which one looks better? This one? Okay. Or this one? Oh, wow. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot more fluffy. Okay, so these are the differences we have. Yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely say that this one looks a lot more appetizing, but this one looks a lot more natural. Like, I don't know, like, oh man, that would be very good to eat. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Please don't eat this, though. That's very dangerous. <laughs> Here's our potatoes. Here's our tinfoil. Let's just wrap some of these puppies up, shall we? 
But first we're supposed to stab it with a fork. I only have this plastic one, so I hope it'll do. Okay, got this bad boy up. One down. Oops. <laughs> Wrap this guy up. Two potato. And we're just gonna do one more. And three potatoes. Here's our crock pot. Just gonna put these guys in there. Perfect. So here's our bread pan. We're just gonna spray that up really quick. Looks good. And we're gonna flop our bread in there. And apparently I'm supposed to let this rise for a little bit, but according to the video, I can just put it in there and then put a top on it. Um, yeah, I don't really know how long I was supposed to put it in because it doesn't say on the video. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in for a little bit and we'll see how it looks when they're both done. So I just wanted to update you guys on this little fiasco and uh, it's been like about two hours. Not really a lot has changed. I mean, it has blown up a little bit because it's baking, but it's it's very slow. And I figured it would be good if I kept this tin foil on it. Oh no, it's falling off. Yeah, I'm keeping this tin foil on it so that it keeps more heat inside. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for another hour or two, maybe two hours, and I will let you guys know uh, what's going on with it. <laughs> so here's our bread and our potatoes. It's been smelling very strongly of yeast in here, so it hasn't been smelling the best. I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit, and then we're gonna cut it open and see how it looks. Okay, we let it cool for a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can move it out. Oh, wow. This is a perfect <laughs> loaf of bread. Okay, move that out. Let's see how our hot potatoes... Oh, hot potatoes! see how our hot potatoes turned out. Just gonna... Okay, let's see. So just so you guys know, uh, this was in here for like three or four hours. So it was basically in there for a very long time. Let's see how easy it is to cut this bad boy open with a fork. Oh my gosh. It just slides right in there. Whoa. Whoa. This is actually a baked potato. All I need is butter and it, it's perfect. Let's give it a little bite. Wow, this is actually really good. I can't believe it. I actually made a baked potato in the crock pot. Well, I guess we can say that this one works. Okay, let's cut open this bread. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it actually came out. That is so cool. The bread actually baked. This is perfect little pieces of bread. I mean, it's a little gooey on the inside. Actually, no, it's perfect. It's all fluffy. Wow, that's pretty good bread. Well guys, I guess. Here's our fork and spoon. Now we gotta break this off. Maybe a little bit more. I think I'm gonna use scissors for this, actually. Maybe like right there. Oh no, I broke it! And that, guys, is why you always bring extras. Oh, that's much better. I don't need you. Get out of here! Bring in our hot glue gun. Flip that over. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I don't know if I like this. Yeah, that's looking uh, 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 pretty good. Let's go ahead and try this out. After it cools because it just stuck to the table and I don't want to eat hot glue again. That's a story for another day. Don't eat hot glue. Okay, it's all cooled down. Let's eat some nudes. So we're gonna take the fork part. We're gonna eat our nudes. I probably should have waited for this to cook a little bit more. No, you're getting all foggy. Let me fix that for you. I wasn't even with the glue gun that time. I am the worst at eating noodles. This fork is so inoperable. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's not bad. It's kind of working. The only problem would be kind of like getting the, the liquid out of this, but I feel like this was more intended for a bowl. But I think I could slurp some of the liquid out. Oh, it's hot. Ow, ow, ow. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. A few moments later. Actually, I'm going to say that this one doesn't work because now my fork is like melt. <gasps> no, it fell off. It's because it's hot and it's hot glue, so it's just gonna fall apart. Oh no, I wasted perfectly good nudes. Okay guys, so this one actually doesn't work. Don't do this. Unless you wanna eat, like, hot glue. Uh, don't do it. So here's our ping pong ball. Let's go ahead and make a hole in it really quick. Here we go. Let's hope I don't mess this up. So far so good. Next side. Okay, not bad. Now we have to try and put this string through it. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Uh, this guy, like that. Oh, nope. How am I supposed to get this through the other side? Hmm. It didn't really show you how to do that. Oh, I did it! Whoa. Okay, now all we have to do is tie that. There we go. Now I'm gonna snip the extra off. Cool. Looks like we're all set. Okay, so let's turn this bad boy on. Here we go. Whoa! Okay, I'm pulling it away. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh! It stayed! That's pretty cool. Well guys, I guess we can say it works! Ah! 
So here's our toothbrush. Here's our lighter. Now all we gotta do is kind of keep that up right there. Yeah. yeah. Just like that. Now theoretically, if I push it, it'll bend really, oh my gosh, it's bending really easily. Who would have ever thought that plastic would bend easily if you heated it up? I would have never thought that. And then I guess I gotta wait for it to kind of cool down. Oh, that is a little high. Now I have to wait for it to cool down. I'll just kind of hold it in this position and uh, maybe it'll stay if I hold it long enough. I'll let you guys know. Okay, so it looks like it is actually holding the right position. It is solid. Now let's try this out on the toilet. Okay, so here's our toilet. As you can see, my bathroom is very messy. Uh, I made a whole video dedicated to me cleaning this bathroom for an hour. If you guys want to see that, you can click right here. If you guys make it to the end of the video, uh, I'll give you a cookie. Okay, now it's time to clean our bathroom with this toothbrush. Oh, wow. It's definitely working. Oh, yes. It is uh, perfect for all my uh, bathroom cleaning needs. Well, guys, I guess we can say this one worked. I actually don't have any flat rocks like that on hand, so it looks like we're going rock hunting. Benji, you wanna go rock hunting with me? Come on, boy, let's go. Benji! Benji, come on! Let's go rock hunting! Nope. I don't think he wants to go. Come on, let's go rock hunting! Yeah, it's a crazy life for us rock hunters, huh, Benji? It's so windy out here. Benji, you find any rocks? You find one? Did you find a rock yet? Oh, he's looking. He's on the look for rocks. <laughs> are you onto something? I think he's onto something. Benji, where are the rocks? Did you find it? Where are the rocks, buddy? Oh, uh, I think he's got it. I think he's on track. Oh my gosh, it's so windy out here. Uh, uh, Benji, where's the rocks? She's like, they're everywhere, Robbie. The rocks are everywhere. I need to find bigger rocks, Benji. I need to find the big ones. You find anything? Maybe I can find some in my front yard. Oh, we definitely have a way bigger selection back here. Well, Benji, uh, thanks for kind of helping, my boy. Let's go. Back inside. Okay, we're in the front yard. Oh, rocks, where are you? Let's see if I can find the rocks. This rock looks good. This one might work. Maybe that will do. I think that these rocks should be good enough. Let's go ahead and put out our tray. Put some tin foil over that. Ah, looks good. Set out our rocks. Awesome. Now 370 for about 15 minutes. Pop these in there. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out of the oven. There we go. Now apparently all we have to do is just kind of write on the rocks just like this. Whoa, yep, that definitely uh, that definitely melts on there really fast. I'm gonna make kind of like a tie-dye color. So I got all the colors for tie-dye. There we go, yeah, just start out with some blue. Maybe some orange uh, right next to that. This feels kind of dangerous to do, if I'm being totally honest. Like, I feel like I'm about to burn myself. So I gotta be really careful not to touch these rocks. Oh, I forgot the orange on this one. Oops, maybe get a little bit of green in there. It definitely slowed down melting really fast. I feel like I might have to put these back in the oven. But then it'll melt all the crayon off that I just put on there. Oh my gosh, it definitely works better with flat rocks, I'll tell you that. So if you're gonna do this, make sure to do flat rocks. Ah, I just touched the rock, ow, 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 ow. This green didn't turn out as colorful as I thought it would. Let's put a little bit more blue in there. I mean, this is definitely working. Well guys, I guess we said this one works. So here's our potato. Let's go ahead and give it some legs. Okay, cool. Now it's free to walk around. Now let's go ahead and nuke this baby. Okay, plop it in for 10 minutes. Start. Okay, you be good, I'll see you in a sec. Okay. Whoa, that is one shrunken potato, my friend. Hello, you want some? Give me a nibble, sir. Let's see, I'm gonna break this open really quick. Just grab the super... <laughs> no, maybe we shouldn't... <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't use a super dirty silverware. Bust that open. Oh, that is rock hard. I'm gonna say that this one doesn't work, guys. Oh my gosh, this potato is... Oh, that is not a baked potato. What is wrong with this thing? This hack definitely doesn't work, guys. So here's our shirt, but there's one problem. It's not wet. So what are we gonna do? That's right, we're just gonna. Oh no, I dropped my shirt in this bowl of water. What am I to do? Just gonna take this bowl out of the way for now. Then we're gonna get our towels, kind of plop that on there, spread it out a little bit. Maybe I should have done this on a larger surface. Okay, put it over it like that. And we're gonna roll it up. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Now I gotta step on this thing. Let's do that. Here we go. Just step on it. So we just do this for a little bit. I didn't really say how long we're supposed to do it, so I'm just gonna keep doing it for like a minute or two. And I feel like this is actually gonna work. 
Come on, boys, it's exercise then. Even though it's 8 o'clock at night. Just run along. Just run along. Take that! one. Let's see if it's dry. Oh, here we go. Just gonna unroll this. Oh wow. It's definitely drier than it was before. I'm not gonna say that it's completely dry because it's very much still pretty wet. I kind of get the overall idea though. So I'm gonna say that this one also kind of works. It's not 100% but it kind of works. Okay, so here's our pesky shirt that just keeps falling off. Oh no! My tank top just keeps falling off! What am I- come on, fall off for me. What am I so- oh no, it fell off! What do I do? First we get our hairbands. We put them on. Boom. Boom. Hang that back up. Oh look, it's not falling off! Well, I mean a little bit. Actually, that's actually working. Well guys, I guess we'd say that this one works! Okay guys, so first rule of making popcorn. Do not use the popcorn button. What the heck am I even supposed to do with this button? I don't understand. Step two, set cooking time for one minute and 45 seconds. Cool, let's do that. Looks good, cool. Okay, popcorn's done. Let's do this, guys. Oh, okay, so here's our hoodie. Let's just go ahead and put this on. Oh wait, I put it on the right way, oops. <laughs> Let me fix that. Okay, perfect, awesome. So we just get our popcorn and we open it up. And in it goes! Oh, I think I might have burnt it a little bit. Okay, yeah, not bad. I can also just stick my face in there and just be like. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say this one works! Mm. Man, there's so much popcorn. Hey, Tori Dabransky. Hey, Tori Dabransky. You your hoodie backwards. I just watched you walk into my room. <laughs> You to be there. And you weren't there. I know. What? So, I was oh gonna ask God. you. Do you have popcorn in your hood? Do you want to taste some of my hoodie yes. popcorn? Oh, yes. Is it good? Oh, it's great. It's good? That's a great idea. I approve of this one, 100%. Well, let's go for it approve, guys. Here are our toothbrushes. Now all we gotta do is deep bristle these bad boys. Here we go. Wow, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Break out the box cutter. Here we go. Dude, this toothbrush does not wanna give up. Give me your freaking bristles, dude. Ah, this is a lot harder than you think it would be. Come on, almost there. No. Yeah, it uh, looks like that's as good as we're getting. Now it's time for the next one. Okay, this isn't working at all. Okay, good, good. Let's just get rid of some of these bristles really quick. So apparently we just rubber band these together, like that, I guess. I don't know, these aren't straight, so this isn't the best uh, way to do it, I guess. This is a very inconvenient way to break open sunflower seeds. There we go, okay. Maybe I have to cut off these so that they're straighter. Well, I haven't used this guy in a while. Here we go. Oh, yeah. One down, one to go. This is probably not the right way to do this, by the way. Oh, well. And it looks like we're good on the second one. Get out of here. So now we just rubber band them together like that. Then apparently we need some cardboard or something to put in the middle of it. Just like that. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, the, oh, no, that stay together. Maybe if I scoot these up more. Yeah, it looks good. Let's break out some sunflowers. Here are sunflowers. So we just apparently do it just like that. And then it squeezes. Oh, well, it looks like some came out. Maybe we'll try it the other way. Kind of like that. Come on. Ah, okay. Awesome. We opened the sunflower seed. Well, guys, I guess we can say that's what works. It's kind of inconvenient, though. I would rather just kind of pop them open with my mouth, but whatever. What? Okay, so it looks like I got to get my tank top. Here's our tank top. Oh my gosh, came a little hot on that one. We don't need this lame shirt. No, we need this awesome tank top, but this tank top isn't good enough. We gotta make it better. We're just gonna, like that, and like that. Oh, I feel like I'm being choked right now. Yeah, how does it look? I look great, right? I look like I'm about to go run a marathon. Well guys, I guess we can say it works. But I still kind of feel like I'm being choked right now. So maybe if the tank top was looser, I don't know.
Okay, so here's our hot water. Let's go ahead and put our butter in there. Let's cut that like that. Oh, yeah. So here's our butter and here's our margarine. So we're just gonna get a big old scoop of that. Get in there. Okay, cool. So apparently this won't dissolve in hot water, but butter will. So we're about to put that to the test. So here we go. Well, it looks like it's not really dissolving that crazy. I mean, I'll have to like break it up. Let's see if the butter will do anything. Oh, wow. Oh, that's definitely breaking up faster than the margarine. So this is the margarine. It's almost like there aren't as many big chunks in it. The butter kind of has like floating white chunks everywhere. I'm just gonna poke it. Oh, that's definitely everywhere. I mean, this also kind of has chunks everywhere, but it's not like super noticeable. Like it still kind of stays together. I don't know. I can't, I guess like this one is different. Oh, wait, I just noticed something. It's just if it stays at the top or not. Okay, I gotta get some clear glasses really quick. So here's our glass. It's already dirty because I did this already, but I forgot to press the record button. So I know what's gonna happen, but you guys don't. Woo, spooky. So here's our margarine. Okay, it looks like uh, it's the exact same. It's kind of like all the way through. There's no oils at the top. Let's go ahead and pour that back. Here's our butter. That looks just as murky as the margarine. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I don't think that like it has any significance to it, so. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed two popular noodle brands. We got this one and we got this one. Let's go ahead and take this one apart first. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try and get this out without breaking the cup open. Okay, I don't think that's gonna happen. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut it. Here we go. Yeah, so as you can see, that's so little compared to like how big it is. So you have all that extra space now. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one's real. This one actually, they do skimp a lot. Now let's check this one. That's a little better. That's not bad. This is this compared to this. That seems like it's about reasonable. Like that's still a really big chunk of ramen. And it's delicious. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one's uh, kinda true. It just depends on what brand you get. Also it depends on the kind. I don't know. I feel like the space in the bottom is actually used to like help cook it with the broth and everything. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Okay guys, so here's our bread. This has been in the fridge for a while. It says best use by January 24th, and it is March 16th. So it's been in our fridge for about three weeks now past the expiration date. This bread's pretty bad. Oh yeah, that's definitely uh, some hard bread. So we're just gonna put some water on it, just like that. Now we're gonna go and put our soggy old toast in the oven. Be good, I hope your brand new bread when you're done. I'll see you in about eight minutes. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, wow, how is our bread? Okay, that is definitely a lot softer. It's also because it's kind of uh, <laughs> soggy now. Ow! It did just come out of the oven. I mean, if this wasn't so old, I would almost say that this looks edible. You know, minus the part where it's super soggy. I probably just put too much water on it, but I'm gonna have to say if this one works. So here's our nail polish, here's our nails. As you can see, they're still a little painted from last time. I've been trying to chip all the paint off. Let's go ahead and start painting our nails, shall we? I definitely think I'm getting a little bit better at this. Yeah, that looks uh, great. So let's get our icy water and we're just gonna dip it in there for a second. It looks like it's only for a second or two. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out. Oh my gosh, my nails look so like awful. That's not good. I really did not do a good job painting this one. Let's see, is it? Oh, that is definitely not dry yet. Uh, maybe for a little bit longer. I'm gonna let it sit in there for like a minute and we'll see uh, if that actually does anything. Okay, my fingers actually kind of hurt, so I'm gonna take them out. Oh my gosh. Oh, my fingers are so cold. Ah! Okay, let's see if it actually worked. Nope, that very much uh, just came right Right on. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so here's our sugar. Put some of that in there. That should be enough. I feel like that should be more than enough, actually. Right, here's our honey. That should really be good. And here's our lemon. Crack that open and squeeze that in there. Woo. I don't know if the seeds are supposed to be in there, so I'm just gonna pick those out. Get out of here. Now apparently we're just supposed to mix it. I think I might have put a little bit too much lemon in there. So I'm gonna put some more honey and sugar. That should be good. Hopefully this balances it out a little bit. I wonder what this tastes like. Yep, exactly what you think. Sugar, lemon, and honey. It's just very sweet and bitter. I mean, it's okay. Okay, now let's microwave this and put it on my leg. Oh, toss that in there for 30 seconds. Sometimes I just feel like half my videos are me waiting for the microwave. Okay, we're all done. Go ahead and take that out. Oh, 
Man, that's nice and hot. I have to make sure to get this upstairs before it cools down. Okay, Tori, I got it. It's really hot. Why'd you put the stick in it? It's okay. It's fine. How okay. am I gonna touch it? Okay, ready? How? Okay, well, how do you want me to put the stick? Just you grab it and then put it on my leg. And then I'm gonna get wax on me. I'll just, just a little spot. No, 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 you're supposed to. Ow, ow, ow. You want me to reach in there? Maybe I have to let it cool down a little bit. I didn't Probably. think this through, I'm sorry. So we're looking at the consistency of it, and it's still very, like, liquid. It's very liquid, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more sugar. Okay, Fantastic. Is it cooling down? Is it thicker? Oh, it's so thick. Wait, is it thick? It doesn't thicker. feel that, I feel like I need more sugar. Do you think that's enough? Where'd it go? Yeah. Hey, Robbie, I think that, that's more than enough. Maybe a little no, bit more. No, Robbie. No, just more sugar. Robbie. No, just a little bit more sugar. No, we don't need any more sugar. That's pretty good. Is it still hot? Yeah. How hot is it? Ah! That hot, is that too bad? That's not too bad. Okay, I guess start putting a little bit of it on my leg. Here we go. How do you think this is gonna work, Troy? Do you think it's actually? I don't think it's I would just leave it. That, that should be enough. Okay, stop. Okay, that's enough. Do you want a full stretch? That one's gonna get a little bit thicker on that. Troy, you put it so much. No, I'm barely putting any This is so much. It's dripping. Okay, so I guess we have to wait for this to cool for a little bit, and then we can pull it off. Okay, so it looks like uh, this isn't really hardening at all. It's just still really liquidy. So Tori said that we should add even more sugar. Oh, yeah. So maybe if we just add like, yeah, maybe that'll do something. Cause it's just too liquidy. I don't know why. Is it still hot? Try not to get sugar all over. Oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it like this? It's like really thick. Yeah, just like that. This actually. looks real thick. <gasps> we should grab your blow dryer. Put it on cold. That would work. You want to go get it? You should go get it after we put this on my leg. Okay, so put it on. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a lot thicker. Okay, yeah, I think this one is more possible to work. It's so like oh man, sugary. Okay, that should be. Maybe take a little bit off. I, mean, it's, I just don't want it to get on my carpet. It's fine. We'll get it on the rest of your leg here. No, Tori. <laughs> Tori, no. You shouldn't let me. Okay, stop. Your okay, rabbit. okay, okay. Go get the blow dryer. Oh boy, I can't wait for this. Okay, so apparently the, the cool feature doesn't apparently work on the, the dryer. It does. It does? Yeah, it's not gonna blast like frozen air at you, Robbie. Hmm. I guess we just have to blow up my leg. This is gonna take a long time. It doesn't seem to be solidifying like at all. Let's go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. I'll just try and peel it off. That oh is yeah. Disgusting. That's working so well. <laughs> it's like really bad applesauce. Okay, so here's our coin. I actually don't have a piece of cork, so I'm just gonna use this crazy glue. If you look on the back of this, it's actually a wheat penny. It says one cent. This is how they used to look, so I'm gonna use that as the front. We're just gonna put some hot glue right there. It's good. And then we're gonna put the crazy glue on. Aha! I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit, and then we'll try and make our seal. Here's our envelope. Here's our glue gun. And here's our crayon, which we're gonna put in there. I'm doing red just to stay kind of true to the craft. I'm just gonna put that in there. I feel like this is gonna ruin my glue gun. Okay, that's hot glue. I should have probably put all the hot glue out before I start doing this. Oh man. Oh no. Get off of there. I need crayon, not hot glue. Ah! This is all hot glue. Okay. When the heck am I going to get to my crayon? I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Oh, it's getting harder to push. I think we finally hit our crayon. It should start turning red any second now. Hopefully I didn't. Oh, oh, it got all over my finger. Ouch. Oh, it started leaking out the side of the glue gun. Come on. Oh, oh no. It's all inside the glue gun. Oh, crud. Oh man. Maybe I pushed it too hard. I don't know what the heck happened? Let's try it again. Okay, ready guys? You can do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it looks good. Awesome. Now we're gonna get our seal. Just kind of push that on there. And then I guess I just let this sit here until it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool and we'll see if it works. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. Uh, let's see if this comes off smoothly. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, 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 uh. Nope. I mean, it made like an impression in it. It looks like a lot of the wax ended up sticking to this. I think it might be because it's covered in hot glue as well. Hey okay, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say it. This one doesn't work. So apparently I've been wearing headphones wrong my entire life. Wow, five minute crafts. I can't believe you're telling me. That. No, that doesn't sound nice. Um, wow, five minute crafts. I can't believe you're saying this. Also, another thing, I know you guys have never seen my ears before in person, so this is gonna be a first. Yes, I do actually have ears, believe it or not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play some music on my headphones. Here we go, put that in normal. Okay, that headphone's broken, just kidding. Okay, so got them in normal, everything's great, everything's fine. Now let's flip them over. Okay, it sounds kind of the exact same, whether I flip them upside down or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that, I don't know, I'm gonna say that this one doesn't really work. Uh, <laughs> So here is our bottle. 
Here's our spaghetti. Let's go ahead and grab some spaghetti and try and put it in this bottle. Here we go. Not bad. Yeah, that seems about all I can fit in there. Let's go ahead and cook it and see if it actually is a proper serving. Here's our pot of boiling water. Now we just gotta wait for this to cook. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's go ahead and try the old spaghetti trick. Okay, one, two, and... Oh, yep, that is definitely stuck up there now. Well, it looks like that's its new home. Okay, now let's go ahead and strain it. Okay, we're all strained. Let's see how big this serving size is. Oh, wow. Actually, that looks like a decent serving of spaghetti. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna say this one works. Hey, Tori, you want spaghetti? Well, looks like I'm eating spaghetti tonight. Got some good spaghetti. Okay, so here's our pot of water. Let's just go ahead and boil that really quick. Flawless transition as always. Anyway, our water's boiled. What else could you want? Put our bowl in there, and then we put our soap. I just went ahead and bought blue soap because I didn't want to go and buy food coloring for this. How many bars should be good? I'm guessing like three. Here we go, that's one, and two. Oh no, oh, oh. Gotta turn that heat down. Oh my gosh. And a three. Oh no. And a three. Come on. There we go. Three. Perfect. Now we're just gonna go ahead and hope that this doesn't boil over and burn down my house. And uh, hopefully these will melt. I just want to say that this water is spilling literally everywhere. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and mix this soap up so maybe it will melt. I feel like maybe I was supposed to break up the pieces of soap and maybe cut it a little bit. Uh, the soap is not melting at all. I'm sure this will melt eventually. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on what's happening. Okay, it's still not melted. It's been about uh, five minutes. I'm gonna put a top on it. Maybe that will do something. Okay, so it looks like this soap just doesn't really want to melt. I've tried poking it. I've tried uh, mixing it. Nothing has really changed. So, you know what? I'm gonna break out this old soap base that I had from an old craft. I don't have enough to really fill, like, a whole glove. Uh, maybe it'll fill, like, a finger or something. I don't really know. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and let that melt really quick. Okay, I think I might have overcooked this soap a little bit. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, now let's set up the glove while this is still hot. I should have probably done this beforehand. Ah! Okay, so here's our jar. It's actually the closest thing to a real jar I have. Uh, it's actually an Arizona drink dispenser. Uh, no big deal. We're gonna go ahead and put our glove on. Stretch it around. Okay, you can kind of see it in there. And we're gonna get our hot soap. And then we're just gonna go ahead and uh, pour that in. I really feel like this is gonna melt the glove. Oh! Oh no, oh no, oh it's like expanding. Oh my gosh, I gotta put the suction cup. I gotta put the suction cup. Uh, here you go. Perfect. Oh, 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 oh. First hot glue, now hot soap. Why do crafts hate me? Okay, now I guess I gotta let this cool for a little bit. This is so weird. Oh, it's like all smoky inside. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cool for a little bit. I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, so I think that this is all cooled down. Uh, let's see if it uh, turned out okay. Not bad. Uh, actually, it's still a little bit hot. Let's see. Um, oh, that smells awful. Oh, oh, that is not nice. Oh, this finger's still very hot. Since it's still hot, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the suction cup right in there, just like that. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that form around it. There we go. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cool a little bit longer, and maybe it'll solidify so that it looks like I just have like a finger on a suction cup. I don't know. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so it's been cooling for about an hour. Uh, let's see if this actually works. So we're just gonna go ahead and peel this off. Man, this honestly smells kind of vile. Okay, and it looks like uh, the finger actually worked. There's kind of soap in the suction cup now, so I don't know if I'll fully be able to use it. Let's see, does it stick? I mean... Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to kinda say that this one uh, works, kinda, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll say that this one works, this is a finger. Okay, so here's our cup, here's our glove. First I'm gonna cut little slits in the fingertips. Okay, perfect. And I don't have the wicks yet because I still have to kind of carve all the wax off these candles. So let's go ahead and melt some candle wax. I'm just gonna go ahead and whittle some of these candles down and uh, melt all the wax. Ah, this is gonna take a sec. Maybe I could just break them in half. Oh, that works way better. There we go, come on. Aha, got one wick down, perfect. Now we just gotta do it with the rest of them. This wax is pretty hot. Some just jumped up and hit me in the hand. If you guys are doing this at home, make sure to be careful. Yep, I'm getting wax everywhere. 
Okay, let's go ahead and let all that melt down. I gotta grab a crayon really quick. Okay, I got my crayons. Uh, what color should we choose? I think um, a bright pink would be really funny. So I'm just gonna get some of these pinks. First, I gotta take all the stuff off. I should have done this beforehand. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can put one in. Now I gotta do the other. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the paper, actually. Come on. Okay, put that in. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. Oh yeah, that's, some, that's definitely some pink wax right there. Okay, looks good. Let's do the next part. So now that we have our wicks, let's go ahead and put them in this glove. Here we go. Get in there. Come on, come on. You can do it. Aha, there we go. Gotta make sure I tape that up first. Okay, one down, and two down, perfect. Boop, boop, get in there. And here we go, and there we go. Got all of them in there. Let's go ahead and tie them together a little bit. Oh man, I hope this works. Okay, put it in the cup. Make sure it goes over it just like that. Come on, aha, I did it. Yeah, it looks good. Now let's get our wax and pour it in there. I feel like this is gonna pop the balloon. Uh, let's hope it doesn't. Oh! I have to be confident when I do this, otherwise it's, no! Okay, that's all the wax I can fit in there. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for a little bit and we'll see what happens. Well guys, I can tell you right now that uh, this didn't work. So I waited about five minutes and it looks like all the wax just kind of went through the cracks. So I guess we're gonna have to say it. this one doesn't work. Would you like to try threading my leg hair? Sure. So I guess uh, the way that we're supposed to do it, have you ever done this before? No. Nope. The way we do it is we get the thread and then we have to cut it and we make a knot just like that. And we cut that off. Then apparently we're just supposed to twist it. One, two, three. And then you do that. So uh, uh, be careful. Please don't hurt my leg hair. Is this going to hurt? Right. Might need to make it a little smaller for you. There we go. Ah. <laughs> is it working? Oh, it's great. <laughs> Can I try it on your leg hair? No. I don't Here, uh, uh, how about we, maybe you're supposed to do that. Oh, oh God. Okay, and then you, you just cut. Ow! Oh, God. Okay, and then you pull. Ow! Ow! Oh, that hurts so bad. So you get it, and then you make this one bigger. Ow! Oh my God, this is just not the case. Do you want me to do it? Here, you can try it out. Yeah, be really tight on this one. Ow! This is fun. Do you like this? No, I don't like this one at all. Okay, it's very inefficient, but I guess we can say this one works. Your eyebrows? No, don't. No, 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 no. Wait, you want to do my feet hair? Yeah, this hurt. Ow! Does that hurt? I mean, you're pulling out my hair. Ow! Ah, yeah, that would hurt. Okay, so here's our paint. Uh, Tori used it to paint her room a while ago. Wow, very pretty green. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my hand in there. Oh, oh no, I have paint all over me. I don't have time to wash this off. I'm just gonna do my best. And wipe it off with this towel. Oh man, that's really not, that's not coming off at all. So let's go ahead and break out our vegetable oil. So we're just gonna take this, put it on some of this napkin right here. Okay, maybe that'll make it come off. I mean, it's kind of working. It's definitely kind of working. Wow, not bad. Maybe I gotta put some more on. Oh, that's a lot, that's a lot. Oh man, uh-oh. Well, might as well make the most of this opportunity. Come on, it's slowly coming off. I mean, it doesn't work that fantastically, but it is working. Yes, yeah. rub it all into the vegetable oil. Oh yeah, that's definitely coming off. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, this one works. Okay, so the closest thing that I have to a picture that I can hang is this whiteboard. I don't have any pictures of anything, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of you guys like this. Here are our hooks. Let's go ahead and screw these bad boys in. Oh my gosh. Come on, get in there. This is harder than I thought. Get in there, hook. Maybe I have to hammer it in a little bit. There we go. Get in, no! Get in there! This thing is giving me quite the trouble right now. Here we go. Ugh. Okay, one down. Another one to go. Right here, and... I accidentally cracked it a little bit, but it's fine. It, it'll be fine. Now we go ahead and get our hair ties. Might need a couple more, actually. And we just kind of band them together. Band together! So one there, and one... Uh-oh, this one closed up. Oops, Let's just go ahead and open that up a little bit. Ah, uh, no! Got ripped out of the wood. There we go. Okay, now we gotta try and hang this up. Let's hang it right here. Well, that didn't work. I need a screw here. These should do nicely. This is probably an awful idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Here we go, right there. Okay, looks good. Now we're gonna hang it up. 
Well, guys, I can't believe that this one actually works. I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so here's my shoe. So apparently it just says to get my pinkies like this, pinkies like this, and then, uh, frick, what's going on? And then I guess pinky, pinky, and then like that. Oh my gosh, this is kind of complicated. So pinky, pinky, underneath, and apparently I just grab it like, like that. Oh, nope, okay. I feel like this one's gonna take some practice. So underneath, so pinky, pinky, oh, forward, and then underneath. So we trade pinky, pinky, and then you grab this, and then I'll grab this, so we all do that. Nope. Okay, this one's way more complicated than I thought. So like that, underneath, like that. <gasps> I got one bunny lace! I was real close! Okay, I'm getting closer here. So pinky, over, under, grab that, grab that, and then pull! <gasps> I did it! I actually freaking did it! Well guys, I guess we said this one works! Okay, so here are our flip-flops. <laughs> oh no, it's broken. What am I supposed to do? Just put them back in? That'll never work. Oh no, it won't stay. Whatever will I do? Just gonna go ahead and get our rubber band. Put that back in there. Then we gotta put it on here, put it on here, and put it on here. A two, oh, ouch. Oh man, two and three. Come on, maybe if it's like that. Okay, it's just bending it in half. I don't know about this one. Yeah, that ought to do it. Oh man, that <laughs> looks a little uncomfortable. Pull that up here. Oh, come on. There we go. Well, it feels like it's kind of just like bending the flip-flop in half. It's not coming out though, no matter how hard I try. So I guess we can say this one works. Okay, so I don't actually have a rusty old wrench, uh, but I do have this rusty old pan, so this is gonna have to work. As you can see, it is very, very rusty. So let's go ahead and get our vinegar. Let me go ahead and pour this on here. Man, I hate the smell of vinegar. <laughs> this pan has been rusty since I moved in here. Swoosh it around a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna let this sit, and uh, I'll be back in like an hour. Okay, so it's been an hour. Uh, let's see if this comes off. Okay, I'm gonna pour out all the vinegar. I hate the smell of vinegar so much. Let's go ahead and scrub it a little bit. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's actually starting to come off a little bit. I mean, it's not a lot, but that's more than just me scrubbing it alone ever did. I think if I left this overnight, it would probably clean the whole thing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. Okay, I just want to know why the heck are you using your dirty hair clips that have been like touching your gross head all day? Why don't you just use a fork? Like that would be so much easier. What the heck? I don't know. Would you guys do this? I don't think I want to try this one. <laughs> Here are our grapes. As you can see, very grape-like, very boring. Why would we want these grapes? They don't even look, you know, like they've been washed at all. Gross, disgusting. So I actually forgot to buy baby powder, so I'm gonna go ahead and use regular face powder instead. It's like the same thing, all right? So we're just gonna do this, kind of brush it all into those grapes. Yeah, looking good contouring. I'm just putting some uh, foundation powder on here. Get, these babies are gonna look real good. Oh, definitely. I'm getting these grapes makeup done before their photo shoot. These are probably Probably not edible now. Yeah, that should be good. Now we'll go ahead and spray them down. Yeah, those are some appetizing grapes. It definitely made the water kind of beat up and look a little bit more like natural, I guess. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. Okay, so my buddy Matt also did this one, and he found out that it does, in fact, uh, happen. They do cover apples in wax. What I want to know is, do they do it with every apple? So I got four different types here. This one's a Red Delicious. This one's a Fuji apple. This one's called a Gala apple. And this one's called a Golden Dell. Okay, put these off to the side for now. So here's our little testing tray. Let's start off with the Golden Dell. Here's our hot water. Put it on there. Ah! Put it on me. Should have done it on the side. Okay. 
Okay, so, um, it doesn't seem like there's any wax coming off of it so far. Did it take a second when he did that? I'm gonna check really quick. So it looks like it didn't happen with this kind of apple. So I guess there's no wax on these. Next, we're gonna go ahead and try a gala apple. Put that right there. Here we go. Is there any wax on it? I'm not really seeing anything. I didn't see any wax on that, actually. Oh, actually, there's a little bit of dried stuff. It looks like it could be wax. Hmm. So nothing's happening. It does have a bunch of those brown spots all over it now, but I'm pretty sure that's just the pores of the apple. This could be wax. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really look like wax to me. It just kind of looks like apple residue. So that's a no-go on the Fiji apples. I'm gonna have to empty out this tray really quick. Oh, empty that tray out. Let's try it with... Oh, the last one wasn't a Fiji apple. It was a gala apple. My bad. So the gala apple didn't really have... Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. It looks like there's stuff on it. I think this might actually be wax. What the heck? I guess I do put a little bit of wax on the gala apples. Huh. You can actually see the wax here. Very, very good. Now let's try it with the Fiji apples. Oh my god, it's turning like colors actually. It's turning like bright brown. Is that because of the wax? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sec to uh, see if like any wax will like dry and then we can see it like we did in the last apple. A few minutes later. Okay, so it looks like there's actually a little bit of wax residue on this one too. I don't even know if this actually is wax residue. Like, what would that even be? Yeah, that's definitely wax residue right there. You can see it. So, a little bit on the Fuji apples. Not a lot. And this is the most generic red apple, uh, the Red Delicious. These are the kind that they usually serve in like cafeterias and stuff. These always tasted very waxy to me. I bet that these are gonna have the most wax out of all of them. So, let's see. It doesn't look like there's really any wax on this actually. Well, let's go Go ahead and wait a second, see if it pops up. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so it's been like five minutes. Uh, let's see how it looks. So it looks like there's a little bit, but not as much as I would have thought. Just like a little tiny bit right there. Other than that, there's not really any wax on this. So there you have it, guys. That's how much wax is on all these different kinds of apples. I hope you find that helpful somehow. If you don't, I'm really sorry, and I don't know how to help you, so... <laughs> Well, it looks like I'm having boiled apples for dinner. This will definitely keep the doctor away. Here's our cutting board, but look, oh no, it moves around. What are we supposed to do? I have a solution. Let's get a paper towel, get it nice and wet. Oh, that's a little too wet, oops. <laughs> okay, I was actually supposed to put this underneath as well. Oops, put that underneath. Does it move? Wow, it looks like it's actually not really uh, moving as easily now. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one kinda works. Kinda, not 100%, but it's okay. Not highly recommended. I probably also added too much water. <laughs> Okay, before I start this one, I just want to say that this whole thing kind of defeats the whole purpose of a butter knife. A butter knife is meant to be used, abused. Look at this, cuts perfect, come on, just, ugh. See, cuts perfectly. Butter knives were meant to cut butter just how they are. Magically cuts your butter. Plus you're gonna use the napkin to wipe it off anyway, so why does it matter? Okay, now let's try and cut it with this napkin over it. Here we go. I mean, theoretically, it does work. It is working properly, but like I said before, you're gonna get butter on your knife anyway, so you're gonna end up using a napkin to wipe it off. So why does it matter? Anyway, I guess we can say that this one works. Oh, Toyota Bransky. Yes? I have a question for you. What? Can you tell me what this smells like? I can't smell actually right now. My nose is really stuffy. Well, I hope you enjoy your butter. No, I don't want to put the butter on. Good luck. No, we keep that. I'll see you later. Okay, so before we even start, yes, I know my freaking stove is dirty. You don't have to tell me. I know. Now that we got that whole thing over with, here's our water. Let's go ahead and let that boil. Okay, our water's boil. Let's go ahead and drop some of this vinegar in there. Oh, no. I dropped it in. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, that was a close one. Now we just gotta crack our egg in there. Here we go. And theoretically, that should just become one solid mass. Uh, I'll see you guys when this is done. Okay, so it looks like it's done a thing. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and try and scoop it out. Where'd the egg go? Is it in here? Oh yeah, that definitely needs to cook a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a little while longer. Okay, uh, I let this sit for a little bit longer. Let's take it out. <sighs> Not bad. I mean, besides the egg looking kind of, uh... Wow, actually? Just drain it a little more. Wow, actually, it looks pretty good. It all became one solid mess. So I guess we can say this one works. So before
Before we start this, I just want to say I'm sorry for all the melted wax on my counter. This is really hard to get off. Here's our bowl. Here's our bacon. Let's just go ahead and open that up. Come on, open up, bacon. Bacon, open up! Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Okay, we did it. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so apparently we just kind of... Oh, come on. Why does bacon keep falling apart? Okay, close enough. There we go. First piece. Here's another. And one more. Oof, my fingers are so covered in grease now. Blech. Now apparently we just cover it in parchment paper. Now time to stick this bad boy in the microwave. Now we just put this in there for two minutes. Okay, you be good. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, it's all done. Let's see how it turned out. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh, this is very hot and very greasy. Okay. Yeah, that looks uh that looks kind of gross. I don't know about this, guys. I feel like this one doesn't really work that well. Look how greasy it is. So greasy. Should I try it? Is this even fully cooked? I don't know. I'm gonna let this cool down for a little bit and then I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's try this. Huh. I don't know if this is completely cooked. Oh well, might as well keep eating it. If I end up getting worms, we know why. Mmm, I mean it tastes cooked, so I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. Okay, so here's our toaster. <laughs> Oops. Let's go ahead and move this so that you guys can see it a little better. Flip that over. Here we go. Looks pretty good. Classic toaster. Not bad. It's kind of at an angle though, and I'm scared that the toast is just gonna come flying out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this rock to kind of hold it up. Yeah, that looks that looks better. Here's our sliced bread. Let's just go ahead and put our cheese on there. Okay, that one looks good. Now for the next one. Awesome. I think I need something else to hold it back here. Okay, now uh, let's try this out. Hopefully I don't burn down my house. There we go. It's already smoking, so that's a great sign. Okay, that's a, that's a little scary. I don't know if it's supposed to smoke like that. I'm gonna have my hand on the electrical outlet in case I need to unplug it. There's increasingly more smoke coming out of this. I'm gonna go ahead and put a plate right here so that the bread will just kind of flop out, just like in a cartoon, hopefully. You never know, it might just happen, guys. Any minute now. Woo! Oh, good thing I put that plate there. Well, it looks like it actually worked. The back of the bread's a little bit uh, burnt, but that's fine. Okay, flip that back on its side. Wow, it actually properly melted the cheese. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. I wouldn't really recommend it though. It seems a little dangerous. <laughs> oh, that's hot, but very good. Not bad. Okay, so here's our paper. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down to size first. Line all these up. Yeah, that should be good enough. Get my X-Acto knife. And we're gonna cut it straight across. I really hope that this works. Oh man. No, I messed up at the end. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna use a Sharpie instead of a pencil because that's what I got. We start out with our pink one, and then we just, uh, oh, maybe I do need a pencil. I'll go look for a pencil. Okay, here's a pen. This is the closest we're getting. Just roll that up. Then we add our next one. Roll this up with it. There we go. Okay, last one. Okay, it looks good. Now we take the pen out. Uh-oh, we're gonna be able to get this out. There we go, just... Oh no! Let's try this again. There we go, got that out. Don't need this anymore. Then apparently we just go and cut it right down the middle, but not all the way. We just do it until it's, you know, just a little bit. Like that, perfect. Yeah, that ought to do it. And then we go and we cut down, just like that. This is harder than I thought it would be. Are my scissors just dull or something? You can do it, scissors! Oh man, I think I'm messing this up. Ah! Okay, maybe try it from the other side. I think I just have to cut it by layer or something. Oh no! I'm gonna tape this part in place. There we go. And we just... Ah! There we go! I think we did it! We got through all of them! Awesome! Okay, so I separate these from the green, and then I'm just supposed to... Like that, and then kind of round it out like that. Yeah, that should do it. And then we cut these at an angle, just like that. Okay, now for the fun part. We just give this a pull, and theoretically, it should just all kind of unravel and be really pretty and nice. Maybe. Did I do it right? Oh my gosh, I think we might have done it. Ah, I hear ripping. Come on. I think I have to keep twisting it like this, like they did. Come on. Okay, that just fell out. We're just gonna uh, call that one a loss. Okay, now apparently we just push it back together and it should make a beautiful flower. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so let's just put theirs on this side and here's mine. So, uh, <laughs> I probably need some more practice at this, but you know, it looks great. Well guys, I guess we're gonna say this one works. I mean, not really, but kind of. I mean, I'm just bad at this. I don't know.
Okay guys, so just going into this, I just want to say that this one's real crazy, but so crazy, it just might work. Here's our lemon. It's already pre-cut, as you can see. Here's our tongs. Wow, I wonder if this will ever squeeze the lemon juice out. We'll never know. Unless I do it right now, that is. Here we go. Ready for this? Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Is that lemon juice? How did, oh my god. I'm so surprised that this one actually works. Oh, what? Guys. Guys, can you believe this? Can you believe that if you squeeze a lemon, it will have juice come out of it? That is incredible. Well, guys, I guess we have to say this one works. Okay, so here are our cups. Let's add our water. Oh, that's good. Add yellow food color into this one. Blue, oh, I think it's blue food. Uh, frick. I messed this up already. Uh, what do I do with this? It's okay, everyone messes up sometimes. I just realized I need one more cup of water. So I'm just gonna pull this over, put this on the middle. Here's another cup. Here's red. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix these up really quick. Okay, good. So put that in there, put that in there. This in here. One more. Okay, now all we gotta do is wait. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Not much has really made much progress with the blue. However, with the yellow, it looks like a lot has spread to the yellow and this is starting to turn kind of orange. Let's go ahead and let this sit for a little bit longer. Maybe this will actually work. I don't really know. Maybe I gotta fold this over one more time. Okay, let's try that. Okay, it's been about half an hour. Not much progress with this. I mean, the blue is kind of bled in a little bit, but still not a lot of progress. This looks like it's working though. I guess we'll give this another 10 minutes and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been almost an hour now and not much has changed with the blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that the blue doesn't work, but these guys kind of work. Man, this was so anticlimactic. <sighs> I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm really sick right now. Oh, okay, so here's my face before, um, you know, normal. Cool, we got a screen cap of that. Um, let's uh, go ahead and put some tape on our face, shall we? I think this should do. It said use double-sided tape, but Ugh, who cares? I don't think it really matters. If I use double-sided tape, it would just get in my hair and stick to my hair. So I guess we're just gonna, like that. Oh, that feels weird. Do the other side. Just, uh, here we go. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that feels so weird. Okay, I put my hair down. Now, let's compare before and after, ready? Okay, this is before, this is after, this is side by side. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that, I don't know. I mean, my face does look a little more slender. It's kind of hard for me to actually talk though because it's holding my face muscles back. I don't know whether to say that this one works or not. I'm gonna say it's, it, it's a very temporary fix. Very temporary. <laughs> So here are flip-flops, here are rocks. I bought these for $5 at Walmart and I kind of regret it now. That's what I get for being lazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these on one at a time. Okay, first one done. Now for this one. Okay, looks good. Now let's try these out. So I kind of feel like these are just gonna hurt more than anything, but you know what? Might as well try them. Okay, here we go. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Oh, that feels weird. Okay, there we go. And I just walk around and it feels like I'm just stepping on rocks. Oh yes, this brings back memories of me uh, stepping on rocks at the beach. This is so relaxing. Wow, guys, how many of you guys am I giving an anxiety attack to because I'm wearing socks with sandals? I mean, this isn't really something I'd wear all day, but I guess uh, it doesn't really hurt that bad. So I guess we can say this one works. So here's our sink, here's our glue. All we have to do apparently is just kind of put this on our hands like that. Oh man, I think I have enough there. And we just kind of, ugh. That should be enough. Now we turn on the faucet. Okay, nothing. We'll try this again. Maybe some more glue. That should be enough. Okay, I really hope that this doesn't mess up my sink. Ready? We'll start it off really slow. That literally did nothing. Okay, one more time just to be safe and I'm gonna do it really, really slow. Ready, one, two, and... Well guys, 
guess. I guess I'm gonna say if this one doesn't work. Okay, so here's our Coca-Cola. Here's my infrared thermometer. I'm gonna go ahead and see how cold that is. 77.5 degrees, as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and put in our cold water. Put in a bunch of salt. Yeah, that should do. Looks good. You gotta mix it up a little bit. Okay, I'll see you guys in one minute and we'll see how cold it is. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so it's been about a minute. Let's go ahead and take this out. Cool. Now let's see how cold it is. And it says 68.7 degrees. So it does in fact make this a little bit colder. It went down, wow, it went down almost 10 degrees in one minute. Not bad, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. Okay, so here are our cups. Let's fill this one up with water. Perfect. Let's go ahead and fill this one up with Sprite. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so apparently if we just drop a grape into this one, it'll sink. And if we drop one into this one, it'll go to the bottom. And then if we drop another one in, it will float back up. So here we go. Okay, that one worked. Next. Okay, let's try this one again. You ready? One, two, and. Are you gonna float? Nope, not yet. Maybe this time. And are you gonna work? Nope. Okay, maybe this time. There we go. I had to jiggle it a little bit, but it looks like it's working. Maybe if I just tap the glass or something. Do that. Oh, it fell back to the bottom. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Oh, it floated back up to the top again. Nice. First, we'll grab our pan, throw some water in there. Perfect. Let that boil for a little bit. Okay, looks like we're boiled. Let's go ahead and put our egg in there. Now we're gonna wait uh, 15 minutes for this bad boy to boil. Okay, so I actually forgot to set a timer, so uh, let's hope that this is actually cooked correctly. I usually like to get a bowl and then put a bunch of ice in it. Fill it up with a little bit of water and then toss the egg in there. It sort of makes it like solidify on the inside from what I understand. We're gonna go ahead and let that sit in there for a little bit. Okay, let's take it out of the water. Looks good. And apparently we just have to tap the top right here. Take a little bit of that off. Maybe tap a hole on the other side so that it'll come out properly. There we go. Looks good. Now all we gotta do is blow. You ready? One, two, and... It's not working. It almost did it. Maybe the other side. It worked! Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Mm, egg. I think it needs some salt. Okay, so here's our nail polish. All we gotta do is uh, shake that up a little bit and then we're gonna... It's a little stuck. Ooh, come on, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and put that right here on our hand. Now apparently, we can just do this and then we'll have pretty French tips. You ready? And, did it work? I mean, kind of. Wow, it actually kind of works. Let's try another hand. Yeah, uh, definitely not as good. Gonna take a little bit of practice. Maybe a little bit more nail polish right there. Uh, nope, not quite. Maybe the pinky. I mean, I got one out of the four. So I'm gonna say that this one works. You just need to kind of practice at it. It's not like super easy, but it's not super difficult. So here's our lemon. Let's go ahead and cut that in half. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and microwave this. 30 seconds. Okay, we're all done. Here we go. Okay, so here are our cups. So here's our not microwave lemon. Get out of there. Here we go. Oh man, our microwave lemon already let out so much juice. So we got all that. Oh my gosh, this is really hot. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze this. Wow, that's a lot of juice. Oh, oh. It kind of burns my fingers. Ow. Oh. Whoa, lemons get so hot. Oh my god. Okay, so all that lemon juice came from the microwaved one. Now let's try the not microwaved one. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit harder to get the juice out of the not microwaved one. So I guess we'll have to say that this one works. Here's our hanger. Here's our pliers. Let's just go ahead and cut this up right here. Okay. Cool. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Now for this one. And. Okay, we got it. Don't need this anymore. 
Cool. So I just uh, go ahead and make a, a, a boobity boop. Does this have to line up? I feel like it does. There we go. So I got that side done. Now time for this side. Okay, cool. Looks like we uh, we got that done. Let's go ahead and break out our knife. Apparently, what side's it going? Oh, so it goes on this side. Okay, really living on the edge here. <laughs> Get it? Oh my God, this is so scary. Okay, next. Woo, okay. I think I might've done it. Cool, let's try it on our carrot. Here we go. Wow, we now have a skinner. Well guys, I guess we said this one works. What's up, Doc? Do you guys get that? I feel like you guys are too young to get that. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna try and shave my leg hair. So, Bobby, you need to get your leg wet first. I need to get it wet? Yeah, you don't just shave. But Tora Bransky. Okay, the leg is nice and wet. Awesome, looking good. This is what a real man's leg looks like. Perfect. Man, I'm gonna have such bad razor burn later. But oh no, look, we have hairs all up inside the razor. What are we gonna do? So we're just gonna go ahead and, oh wow. Yeah, there's a lot of hairs that just came out of my pants. Oh, do you see all that? So Ugh. Well, I guess we can say this one works. Here's our tortilla. Just gonna take that out. Put that in our cup. Just like, I think it has to be a glass cup actually, so get that out of there. Oh, this one should work. Let's just put that in there, just like that. Okay, now let's put this in the microwave. Toss that in there. I'll see you in about 30 seconds. I think it was 30 seconds, I don't really remember. Let's hope I'm right on this one. Okay, let's see if this uh, keeps its shape. You ready? Yeah, I don't really, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's really, I'm gonna say that this one doesn't work. I'm gonna go ahead and use this picture of BMO from Adventure Time. It makes me kinda sad that this show's over. Okay, goodbye. All good things have to come to an end. Put our plastic there. Let me get our Sharpie. This is gonna take a little bit of precision, guys. Have patience with me. Here we go. Now I just need to add some color. Let's just start out with this background. That's green. This isn't working. Maybe this one will work. It doesn't seem to want to write on this. Go to the purple dot. Yeah, that color's not showing up at all. I mean, a little bit, I guess. Maybe we can try and make it a little darker. And then a little plus. Okay, yeah, looks good. Almost a perfect copy, as you can see. I am Beemo. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. Okay, come on. Okay, we did it. Awesome, now let's microwave this bad boy. Plop this guy on our plate. And we toss it in the microwave for two minutes. Okay, I'll see ya uh, in then. Please don't burn up. Okay, let's see how we, uh, how it did. Oh my god, it burned the pl- oh, The temperature is- Shut up. Oh my gosh, it actually burned my freaking paper plate. So, Bimo's looking good. He shrank a little bit, not bad. I mean, it doesn't really look like how it does in the video. That's fantastic! But it's definitely a little harder. Maybe I have to microwave it longer, I don't know. Maybe I didn't use the right kind of plastic. I'm not sure where I went wrong, but it did shrink, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one- Okay, so I actually went to like four thrift stores and I couldn't find a freaking microwave. Uh, instead of using pants like these ones I bought, we're just gonna go ahead and use a shirt. So just, uh, uh, broke it, oh well. But first I need to get it wet. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Shirt's all nice and wet. Cool, awesome. Maybe we're gonna wring it out a little bit more just so we get all the water out. There, it's fairly dry. It's like if it came out of the washer. Perfect. So just toss this guy in the microwave. Uh, let's try it for two minutes. Okay, you be good. Here we go, perfect. Now let's see if this guy's any dry. And oh my gosh, it's just really hot. And it's still very wet. Uh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, oh. That's not dry at all. I did it for two minutes and I'm gonna have to say, guys, that this one doesn't work. <laughs> Here's our slipper, here's our dust thing. I don't even know what this is called. Let's go ahead and cut this out really quick. <sighs> okay, yeah, we don't need a, uh... oops, forgot to remove this part. There we go, don't need that anymore. Oh, get out of here, don't need, 
that anymore. This kind of looks like hair from the 90s or something. It's so crazy. So it looks like I didn't get enough to really fit the whole thing on both of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in half. Whew, good enough, am I right? Here's our Velcro. I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh my gosh, it's stuck together. Ugh, there we go. One for that side. Woo, and one for this side. So it looks like they just kind of stuck it on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Boobity boo. I'll put one here. I'm gonna put another strip down here, I guess. Aha. And this one already had Velcro on this side. Oh no. Oops, I used the wrong Velcro. This already has Velcro on this side, so I'm just gonna put this Velcro on this side. This is such a mess, honestly. And slap that on there. I kind of feel like this is just gonna end up falling off the fabric anyway. So then I guess this is gonna go on this side. Just slap some Velcro on my slipper. It might stay on my slipper better than it will stay on the freaking dust mat thing. Oh, smack that on there. Okay. Yeah, one down, one to go. Let me do the same with this side. Whoop. And right here. Awesome, flip that over. Okay, so as you can see, there is stuff all over the floor. And our goal is to use these guys to try and clean it up. Here we go, just gonna slip these on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, these feel uh, these feel great. Very stylish, very swag. So we're just gonna uh, just uh, get, yeah. Wow, oh my gosh. I can't believe it's actually working. What? What are the chances? Wow, crazy. And we swept everything up, guys. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to see if this one works. <laughs> okay, so here's my foot. Oh my god, this is such an awkward angle. There is a hole in my sock right there. As you can see it, I'm gonna go ahead and do this Ugh, with my left hand. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. There we go. Yeah, just black that out. Oh my gosh. Oh, can I, even, I can't even put my foot all the way around. This is awful. Okay, so yeah, it looks like, oh my gosh, Ugh, just keep doing it. Wow, I can't tell the difference. It looks great. Well, guys, I got to say this one works. Oh God, oh, that was so uncomfortable. Okay, so here's our banana. All we gotta do is break it in half. Oh, it actually broke in half. Wow, I can't believe it actually worked. Now apparently it's gonna be really easy to peel. Now apparently it's gonna be really easy to peel, so. Benjamin, calm down. What are you doing, Benji? <laughs> okay, so, oh my gosh, look how easy this is to peel. Who would have ever thought, guys? Oh, that's delicious. Am I allowed to give dogs bananas? I'm gonna Google this really quick. Can you give dogs bananas? Bananas do contain certain nutrients like potassium, but if your dog is on a complete and balanced diet, you're not relying on the banana to supply anything essential. Okay, so I'm guessing it's a bad idea to give my dog bananas, so we're not doing that. I'm not gonna risk it, so. Okay, so. Well guys, I guess we can see how this one works. Here's our scuff. Here's our tennis ball. Let's see if this works. Oh, come on! I don't know if it's working. Please work. Come on! Uh, I'm getting some green on the door. It's not working. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so in one of my last videos, I asked you guys to give me 30,000 thumbs up. And if you do, I would make a matching rug to go with this ottoman. And if this video gets 30,000 likes, I'll make a matching carpet. And boy, did you guys deliver. We got 60,000 thumbs up. That's more than double. So it looks like I'm making you guys a matching rug to go with it. So I guess the first thing we gotta do is get some supplies. So I got some cardboard, I got some rope, and I got a butt ton of hot glue. So let's do this. Great, now I gotta clean all this up before I start. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is lay out the cardboard and then kind of flatten it so that I have a place to kind of put the, the rope on, you know, do the twisty thing. Here we go. Oh, now I'm gonna go ahead and tape this together. Yeah, it looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is staple some parchment paper to it. Here we go. Oh, what the heck? Did I do this wrong? Oh, yep, that definitely works. 
Okay. Oh, time to reload. Looks good. Yep. Okay, yeah, it looks good. And it only took me about 25 minutes. Oh, now for the fun part. And by fun part, I mean the really long part. I think that this will take me about 15 hours to make. Uh, I could be very wrong. I, I I hope I'm wrong and it takes me less time. But we'll find out. So here we go. But first, I think it would be a good idea if I put something in the middle so that I could screw the rope down into it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this board right here. Yeah, that should do it. And I'm just gonna have to put this underneath it, right in the center. Oh, this is so scary. There's so many staples under here. Theoretically, it should be right here. Okay, so here's our rope. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this into the cardboard. Here we go. Yeah, that looks good. Now we have to just hot glue this whole thing down. I feel like this is gonna take a while. Definitely not a five minute craft. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, we're all done. Perfect. Now it's just time to do a little bit of... And there we go. Come on, get off of there. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? And it only took three solid days of work. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna do a couple extra things here just to make it so that it lasts a long time. So first thing is, we're gonna have to remove the screw in the middle. I don't even know if I can get to it. Where is it? Maybe here? Come on, screw, where are you? I can't even find it. Oh, got it. Okay, yeah, looks good. Okay, I think we got it. So next I have to flip this baby over and take all the staples out. <laughs> This is what I mean when I say that I have to get the staples out. They all kind of just stuck into the hot glue, so the whole bottom is filled with these bad boys. So we're just gonna have to pull them all out by hand, I guess. Ah! I just stepped on one. Ouch! These things are kind of scary. Ugh. I really hope I don't kneel in one by accident. That would really suck. Oh boy. Oh, almost kneeled in one. Okay, so we got all the staples out. I almost stepped on a couple of them. That would have been really bad. <laughs> so as you guys can see, the bottom is kind of ugly. It's just super covered in glue. And I feel like this glue, if it gets hot enough, it'll kind of go into my carpet eventually. <laughs> I stepped on a staple. Ah. Yeah, so this is what the bottom kind of looks like right now. It's just super covered in hot glue. And yeah, so that's the bottom. So what I decided to make it more cool is I went ahead and bought this pizza towel from Walmart for like 10 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and glue it to the bottom side. Just like this. That way I could flip it over and it'll be reversible. So I guess I just gotta start gluing this to. So I just. Okay, so here we go. Let's glue this on. pretty good except for the fact that it doesn't line up right here and then it gets kind of wrinkled right here because uh, I had some extra material but besides that it looks pretty freaking good on this side okay now let's uh, flip it over and see how this side looks Woo! yeah get out of here okay this is the side that really matters and this is our rug <laughs> looks pretty freaking good let's go ahead and get the ottoman in here oh. here we go yeah! We got a carpet to match our ottoman! Look how cool this is! Now, was this rug worth spending about 20 hours on? 
I'm not really sure. But now I have it, and it's gonna be in my room forever now. I really hope the audio's on. Yep. Oh. So since the last video got 60,000, if this video gets 100,000 likes, I'm gonna dye my hair pink. Now let's see if we can make it happen. Anyway guys, I guess we could say that this little experiment worked! What? Got a new rug! Now I just have to clean up this mess. Okay, five minute crafts, I'm trusting you with this one. Here we go. Oh wow! Oh my god! It actually works! It actually works! I would have to say that this one works! Oh, anyway, let's keep going. Anyway, here it is, boys. What do you guys think? I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing did not take five minutes. This was not a five minute craft, okay? This thing took almost 10 hours to make. And I had Tori help me for the last hour of it. So this is definitely not a five minute craft. I'll tell you that. But I think it's pretty cool. Look, you can sit on it. You can put your feet on it. You can put your dog on it. Wait, come back. I'm gonna have to say that this thing is pretty freaking cool. And if this video gets 30,000 likes, I'll make a matching carpet. It's gonna be huge. Just imagine like a big rope carpet all around it. That would be so cool. So make sure to like up the video if you guys want to see that. Okay guys, so here's our glue, here's our brush. Let's do this, let's put even more glue on my face. <laughs> so apparently I have to do three layers of this, so uh, here we go. Just like that. Dude, this is gonna be so gross. Okay, now to do the other side. Here we go, yeah, looking good. Let me wipe some of my hair out of the way. I should definitely be a special effects makeup artist, but this is turning out great. Okay, and now to wait for this to dry, and then we're gonna do it two more times. Okay, so it looks like it's about dry, except this part could dry a little bit more. But you know what, uh, we're just gonna Keep going, because time is of the essence. Okay, let's do this again. Yep, just getting all this glue up on my face. Other side, maybe a little bit more glue. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, now we gotta wait for this to dry. Then one more time. Okay, so that's mostly dry. Um, it looks like it's kind of stuck being wet underneath. But you know, nothing I can really do about that. So we're just gonna do the last layer. Here we go. I just don't want to get it in my hair, because that would suck because then it would be in my hair. Oh, I got an eyelash in my makeup. Oh, gross. Eyelashes are for wishes, not for face cuts. <laughs> I'm scared to like smile or laugh because I feel like it's gonna rip my, my new found face makeup. Okay, I do the other side. Here we go. Need a little bit more and then I'm done. Okay, now I just have to wait for this to dry and then we can cut it open and make it look like I'm the Joker. <laughs> okay, so it looks like uh, these are about dry. So now let's do the scary part where we cut my lip open. Oh boy. I hope that this doesn't get demonetized. How are we looking? Okay. Oh, that's so weird. Come on. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh, that's so weird looking. I should definitely add a little bit more glue. I like to put this slap back on. Oh no. Come on. I just need my flap to go back on. There we go. Gluing my flap back on. Okay, it looks good. Okay, just keep going. Okay, so good with that. Apparently we just peel it back a little bit. Oh my gosh, this looks so weird. Wow, okay. Flat, don't fall off, please. Please don't fall off flat. I need you to stay on for me. Okay, now for the other side. This side looks a little bit better, except for this part right here. Probably because I don't shut up and I always talk. Now it's just kind of coming off. Okay, that doesn't look bad. Okay, there we go. Ah! Almost there. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna paint this flat back on with some more glue though. Uh, just because I feel like it's kind of coming off a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely, oh no, it's coming off. Okay, come on. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, keep that on. Pull that back a little bit. Oh, that's so weird looking. What do you guys think? Do it, does it look creepy? I think it looked kind of, kind of gross, kind of disgusting. Ooh, that's gnarly, dude. Okay, then we get some of our lipstick. We just kind of put this on here. Oh man, I got this at the dollar store and it looks like someone already kind of tried to use it. Oh, that's, that's gross. Ooh, do I just, uh, <laughs> what the frick? I really hope that this comes off my face. Oh gosh, this is so creepy looking. 
Oh, I just got it all up here. Here, I can use some makeup wipes to kind of like clean that off. It's so hard to talk with my face like this. I just gotta fix this a little bit. There we go, yeah, it comes right off. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Then we get our eyeliner, and then we're just gonna kind of get in there, just like that. Oh my gosh, oh, that's so gross. Yeah. You wanna know how I got these scars? What do you guys think? Does it look good? I think it looks okay. I mean, if I had the, the green hair, it would honestly be perfect. Well, anyway, let's go and show Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky. Hey, Tori's gonna love this. Tori! Tori, what do you think? Do I look, uh, like, very Joker-like? I mean, it's not bad. I wanna know how I got these scars. <laughs> Come on, just help me. But, uh, Tori, I need to tell you how I got these scars. How did, how did you get them? Dang it, I should have came up with a story before I did this. I came in so unprepared. So you think I did a good job? You did a pretty good job. So Tori, do you think that this would work? Yes, you can say it. This, this would work. Thomas doesn't have any thumbs. I guess we can say it. This would work. What a tired little guy. Okay guys, so I've actually seen this one around the internet quite a bit, except people fix toilets, they fix sinks, they fix coffee mugs, they fix all sorts of things. But I think that the watermelon might actually work. So I guess the first thing we gotta do is, uh, you know, put a hole in this bad boy. Here we go. Oh no, I made a slice. Oh well, I could fix that. Yeah, I think that'll do. Looks pretty good. Not bad. You guys see it here first, that's the hole. Put all these, uh, you know, watermelon guts over. Okay, looks good so far. So that's our hole. Now we gotta get our ramen. I think I'm gonna go ahead and break this up actually. Let's just go ahead and do that. I think if I make it into a fine enough mist and then mix it with the super glue, it should make some sort of solid. Oh no! Uh, well, might as well start filling it up. Get in there. Yeah, that should work. It just keeps going because I keep squishing it down. And I think I need an even finer mist. I don't know why I keep saying mist. I actually mean like really fine, like almost like sand. Is that working? Oh yeah, that's getting closer to what I want. Oh my gosh. Powder, that's the word I was thinking of. Powder, I'm trying to make it into a fine powder. Why did I say mist? Oh. I think that should do it. This feels pretty fine to me. Okay, let's clear all this extra stuff out of the way. Yeah, it looks good. Now we just gotta fill this up with the, with the powder. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so here's our super glue. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten the gel, but you know, it's too late now. I bought a lot of this stuff because I knew that I'd have to be really generous with it. I put a lot on there. I have like a popsicle stick or something. I really don't want to get this on my hands. Mm, I really should have thought of this before. Maybe I could use this. Oh, no, that's not sticking in there at all. Oh, no. I think the powder was probably a bad idea. Come on, get in there. I need something flat. Here's like a piece of tape. Maybe something sticky will not stick against something that is sticky. Oh, it's actually drying. Nice. Crud, I got some on me. Some more. On. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Spread that evenly on there. Maybe sprinkle some more. Ooh, I need glasses or something. My eyes are burning. Oh, yeah, I got some eye protection. Should have probably done that first. Always wear eye protection when dealing with chemicals like this, guys. The vapors can get in your eyes, and it's really not good for that. Put some more. I fully intended on using a whole two or three bottles of super glue. So this is fine. Anything to fix my watermelon. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for a little bit and then we'll start sanding it. Okay, now it's time to sand this bad boy. Okay, let's see if I can kind of level it out with some 150 grit sandpaper. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Didn't have to improve much. Okay, now it's time to paint this bad boy. I've never really been good at painting, so I guess we'll see how this turns out. So I guess uh, we'll start off with this really light green right here. See if we have anything to match. Maybe like something like that. Mix it with a little bit of white. Mm, see if this works. There we go. <gasps> Actually, that's really close. Wow. Okay, yeah, let's try it. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit off. Maybe a little bit more white. Just a little bit. Not quite, but I think we're getting closer. Mm, how about that? Nope, not quite. Dude, how white do I need to go? Am I too white now? This is so hard to color match. Oh, man. Okay, uh, maybe some more of this darker green. Mm. Yeah, that looks a little bit more watermelon-y color, maybe. Dude, this is so hard. I don't know how the heck you're supposed to make this, like... If I knew more about paint, I could probably make this actually happen. Now, that's definitely not the color. Maybe more yellow? Yeah, that's probably way too much yellow. Oh, nope, that's not quite right either. This is... Oh, my gosh. I don't think that this is even possible. How the heck do people do this? Ugh. I definitely think I messed up at this point. This is like a mustard yellow green looking thing now. Is that it? No! Oh, this is so hard! I don't think I'm gonna get it. I guess I'll start working on the finer lines now. So it's just kind of like, oh man. I suck at painting. I really do. Yeah, it looks great. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't really work. At least I can't get it to work. That doesn't look like it blended in at all. I'm a failure! No! Well, 
I guess it's time to clean up this mess. Okay, here's our plate, here's our microwave. Oh, I'm so happy that didn't break. One minute. Okay, our plate's all hot. Well, not really, I feel like I need to put it in a little longer. Okay, I put it in for another 30 seconds. Hopefully that's good enough. Next, we're gonna get our butter. Just kinda put it all over that, like that. Yeah. That should be enough butter. Next, we add our egg. Okay, yeah, looks good. <laughs> Next, we're gonna pop the sucker in for another two minutes. Please don't explode, please don't explode, please don't explode. I'll see you guys in two minutes. Okay, and uh, this is how it turned out. I'm not gonna lie, I actually attempted to record me uh, trying it, and it's not bad. I'll just give you another bite. I already put salt and pepper on it. It looks like it actually cooked all the way through, but the edges are kind of like, I don't know if I wanna call that burnt, but they're just very hard. So here we go. Okay, yeah, it's honestly not too bad. It's a little dry, kind of a bit of a dry egg, but it's definitely cooked all the way through. So guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. So here's our toothpaste. We just gotta cut this part off right here. Boom! Uh oh, there's still some toothpaste stuck in there. Oh no, that's not good. Just gonna go ahead and kind of clear that out maybe. Oh man. I could've gotten all that toothpaste. Life hack guys, you wanna get the very last of it, this is what you gotta do. Why is it always so much messier when you do it in person? Get out of there, toothpaste. Okay, got it. So then I gotta force this balloon into here just by doing that. Oh, that was easy. Oh wait, but I'm supposed to put, oh. There's toothpaste all over this now. I'm supposed to fill it with soap first. Duh. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of put this over it like that. And let's fill it up with soap. Ah! Oh no! Man, this is so messy. Okay, now I just gotta... Oh. Awesome, cool. Then we just gotta uh, put this in here. Oh man, this is so messy, dude. Come on, get in there. Oh, I did it before. Is it going through? Okay, and we're good. Okay, cool, now it's just, uh, now we fixed it like that. We put the cap on. Awesome, yeah, this looks uh, this looks great. So, oh, uh, the cap just flew off. But uh, I mean, now I have soap uh, for on the go, see? Perfect. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. Oh gosh, it's so messy though. I have to wash my hands. Okay guys, so here's our trusty drill. Here's our sandpaper. Let's just go ahead and cut it to fit this. Looks good. Well, maybe a little bit smaller. Cool, cool. And that is just about perfect. I should have used different colored sandpaper for this. And we're just gonna get our hot glue gun. Oh boy, I can't wait to mess up my drill. There we go. Maybe I gotta put a little bit of overlap here. Yeah, that ought to do it. Ah! Ouch, ouch, ouch. Put that on there. Ow! Who knew that hot glue could be so hot? Ouch. Okay, cool, yeah, looks good. It still spins, so that's a that's a good thing. So apparently we can sharpen knives with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen this knife. If you guys have been watching a while, you guys know that this knife is kinda near and dear to me because uh, my buddy Rusty was trying to sharpen it, and he ended up cutting off two of his fingers. So now I call him Eight Finger McGee. <laughs> good times, good times. Anyway, so we're gonna see how sharp it is based on, um, you know, this paper, the paper test. Okay, not bad. It's a little rough. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of a little bit of a, a, a dirty cut. Um, it's not the best, not the cleanest cut. Do it a couple more times. Yeah, that's very dirty. That's a pretty dirty cut right there. Oh, that's even worse. Not bad. Yeah, but as you can see, it's just very scraggly. Anyway, let's try to sharpen this bad boy and uh, let's not end up like my buddy Rusty. Okay, this side looks good. Let's do the other side. Okay, wow, this actually feels duller. So let's try it, you ready? That's not even cutting at all. Oh no, that's awful. This is terrible. This is the worst knife sharpener I've ever used. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this one doesn't work. <laughs> Why do you let me down, five minute crap? Ah! Oh, sorry, I lost my cool there for a sec, guys. <laughs> So here's our highlighter thing. I'm not sure exactly what they used. I'm assuming it's highlighter since they used it as highlighter. We're just gonna pop that open. We're gonna break out our hammer and just start crushing that up. There we go. 
Don't need that anymore. And then we get our glycerin. Just kind of pour some of that in there. There we go. And we mix it all up. Mix, mix, mix. Then we get our parchment paper. And we get a brush. And we just kind of uh, glob all that on there. Kind of just do this, apparently. Yeah. I think it might be a little chunky, but it's fine. Okay, cool. Now we're just going to set this aside and let it dry for a sec. Oh, okay, so I've been laying this dry uh, just about all day. And it's still... Kind of not dry. Ugh. It doesn't really look like my color, but um, we're gonna go ahead and try and put this on my face anyway. So I'm uh, just gonna go ahead and cut it up. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Looks great. Okay, now time to put this baby on me. Ready? <laughs> oh no. Ugh. This looks great. I mean, I guess. Am I even doing my makeup right? This looks awful. <laughs> I don't think this one actually works. Okay guys, so here's our bag, here are our dowels. Uh, well, these are just kind of like bamboo shish kebabs because I couldn't find dowels, but we get what we get. One goes here, one goes here. It looks like they only use one piece of tape for each side, so uh, I guess this is gonna have to do. I feel like this side has to be a little shorter. Oh no, I just broke it. Maybe if I if I cut it with scissors, that's better. Okay, yeah, that's a little better. So here's the first one, just tape it just like that. Then the next one, on this side. Yeah, it looks good. Now we just have to cut it into shape. I hope I do this right. Woo! Yeah, looks good. I mean, it's a little ugly, but it is what it is. Now we get our string. We just go ahead and, oh, come on. Here we go. Let's go. As you can tell, Benji kind of unrolled all this, so I had to re-roll it myself. That's why it doesn't look very good. It's also covered in pudding from a, a couple videos ago. It's right here. One right here. Snip, snip. Okay, here we go. I gotta add some tape so the string doesn't, like, you know, slide around. And then I think I'm also gonna go ahead and add some side parts. It stays kind of even. Yeah, there we go. That should do it. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Now let's try this bad boy out. Okay, guys, so we're outside in my backyard. We got my kite. Uh, let's see if this works. Oh my god, it's actually flying. Woo! It's doing it. It's actually doing it. I'm a genius. Let's try it again. Come on. We can do it. It's actually kind of flying. Yeah. Is it doing it? Yeah, it's gonna go. It's doing it. Woo! I mean, it's not great at flying, but it kind of works, so I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. Okay, so I know that they use like a shirt sleeve or something, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a sock because I feel like a sock would be a lot better. We get our egg, put it in there, and then I'm just gonna get some hair ties and tie it up. There we go. Okay, so now we just uh, do this. Shake it up. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Now apparently we just get our flashlight on our phone. Do this. I'm also gonna turn off all the lights really quick. Okay, so as you can see, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty mixed up in there. Now we take a regular egg. How's that look? Kind of looks the exact same. Uh, does that mean, wait, maybe I didn't shake it enough? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and shake this up some more. Please don't break. Come back. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so this is our shaking up egg. It's giving off a good amount of light. You know, you can see straight through it. This is our unshaken egg. It looks the exact same. What did I do wrong? Okay, here's a whole different egg. It's like the same thing. Did I not like shake this egg up enough? I'm so confused. Okay, let's boil this up and see if it actually did anything. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it with an S so I know which one it is. Shaken, not stirred. Okay guys, so I actually don't feel like going all the way downstairs to use a stove to boil these eggs, so we're gonna try another method. So here's our water boiler. We're just gonna turn that on. And when this boils, I'm gonna go ahead and put these eggs in. And finish. It's not finished yet. Maybe if I go and put this over this, it'll make it boil faster. I can hear it. It's almost done. And go. And go. Nope. Okay, I'll be back when this actually boils. And it's done. Um, my lens is a little foggy right now. I'm just gonna... Oh, yep, that's probably real good for the camera. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So we're just gonna carefully put the eggs in. That's a one. That's a two. It was getting real foggy, so I changed angles. For this, I'm not gonna close the lid because I feel like that'll make the eggs pop with all the pressure, so... Just turn that on, put on a timer for 12 minutes, and here we go. I'll see you guys when this bad boy's done. Okay, so I boiled it without the top on, and uh, now it doesn't seem to be turning on anymore. Normally this lights up, and it's not lighting up at all. I think I might have just broke my water boiler, but I'm not sure. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna leave it off for now, and then uh, we'll see what happens um, when the timer's up. Hopefully it, it, it heated up enough. Okay, so after doing a little bit of digging around, uh, it looks like I completely broke this. So now I have to replace this whole power 
switch. And it went to my lights, it went to my chargers. Oh no. So, I don't know. I can't believe I broke it. What the heck? So I guess I'll plug it in somewhere else. I don't know. Will it work? If I plug it into, into this. Okay. Oh, it turned back on. It's definitely back on. Let's hope it doesn't like blow out a fuse or something. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes while this is done. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, so uh, let's take these puppies out. Here we go. I put them in nice cold water because uh, in case you guys didn't know, this is really effective in making it so that it doesn't come apart all weird when you're peeling it. Feel free to try it at home. I guarantee it'll work a lot better than not doing this. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit for this to cool down, gelatinize, and I will see you guys in a sec. I know I keep saying that, it's so redundant, but uh, you know these hacks take time, I'm sorry. Okay, that should be enough time. Let's see how these turned out. Just gotta take this bad boy out. So this is the shaken one. Okay, did it boil? I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's definitely a boiled egg. It's not quite as like, hard boiled as I'd like. It's more of a soft boil, but it definitely did something. Now is it super mixed up? No, it's not. This isn't mixed up at all. I don't even think that it broke the yolk. Did it break the yolk? No, the yolk is still perfect. Do you see that? Okay, so it does look like it does boil. That's a thing that does work. However, when you mix it up and you do that, uh, yeah, that doesn't actually work. Is this one mixed up? This is the one that's not supposed to be mixed up. And it looks like it's the same case. It's boiled though. It looks like it's properly boiled. It's coming off a little bit more clean. That's good. So yeah, the thing where you boil it and the water boil, that definitely definitely works. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I feel like this is the biggest waste of honey I've ever seen, um, but whatever. So here's our wine glass. I hope you guys appreciate this nice white background that I have. It's very clean. I think it looks very nice. Here's our honey. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and start pouring this in here. Are you ready? Let's do it. I tried to grab the other camera and I messed up. Yeah, do you like that? Does it look good? Oh, yes. I keep getting it all over the side. I messed it up. I feel like this isn't as satisfying as like you think it is now. Oh no, I messed up. It's about to overflow. Here we go. You ready? Oh, wow. That does actually look pretty cool. I'm impressed with that. And it only took one jar. Dang, that's some good stuff. I can appreciate that. Wow. That looks so pretty. And delicious. Yep, that's some good honey right there. I really hope that this camera wasn't out of focus, because if it is, I'm probably going to cry here, guys. Now, was this satisfying? Uh, yes. Would I do it again? Probably. I don't know. Maybe if this is not in focus, I'm going to check really quick. And if it's not in focus, I guess I'm just going to have to do it again, guys. Yep, and just as I thought, the whole thing was out of focus. So I guess there's only one thing to do and that is drink honey out of a wine glass. Oh, man This is so sticky. This is gonna be so gross. You guys you guys ready for this? Okay, ready? Oh my god That's so much sugar This was not a good idea. This is way too much sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and try and put this honey back in the bottle. Uh, I feel like this is not gonna work out very well, but you know, Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, it's kind of working. Okay, cool. I don't feel so bad now. I'm only wasting half a jar of honey. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. Oh, there's honey all over my lens. Dude, honey's everywhere. This stuff is so sticky. You guys didn't even see that, did you? Because it's all over the lens. Ugh. Okay, so <laughs> we got Tori on the, you know, the, the other camera now. So uh, hopefully I won't mess this up again. Sorry. No, I, I messed it up last time. Not you, Tori. Yeah. Okay, sucks. so here we go. Oh, yeah. Look how satisfying, Tori. Isn't it great? Oh, I messed up already. Is this satisfying or what? Oh, this is so nice. Do you like it? Does this Is this worth like $6 worth of honey? Uh, probably not, but I mean, it does look Wow, look how drink it afterwards? I already did and it was beautiful. Do you want to drink some afterwards? I'm like, it's like it would be a lot of sugar. It's so much sugar. It's like an unbelievable amount of sugar. And now I have to switch to the other bottle. Wow, it's so pretty. Okay, ready? Ooh, here's are a... you gonna make it dribble over the top? Yeah, ready? Big explode. Oh, I'm ready. And here we go. Yeah, you like that? Wow. Yeah, it's good. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Wow. Does it look good? This camera was out of focus before, so I had to redo it. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Looking good? I'm so You happy. like? I love this. I'm so happy that like, you messed up the first time. This is gonna be such a mess to clean up. Oh yeah, it's great. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's enough honey for that. It's good. Oh, it's great. Look. Do you want to take a sip of it? No, it's so happy. Let's be careful. It's gonna. I know. I know. I fixed it. Well, guys, I guess we can say this one works. It's pretty satisfying, right, Tori? Oh, it is. Oh, I probably it. <laughs> it's pretty satisfying, right, Tori? Oh, it is.
Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna need a glue stick. But unfortunately, I don't have a glue stick. So I guess we're just gonna use normal glue again. That's what half these freaking crafts are. It's just glue. So they did it on their forehead. So I guess I'll just uh, put some glue on my forehead. It's like the same thing, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, then apparently I'm supposed to get some finishing powder. It said fixing powder, but I'm gonna use finishing powder because I don't know the difference. Let me just get that and put it on my forehead. Hopefully this doesn't get into my brush. Yeah, that looks good. And then we get our eyeshadow. It looks like they got like a brown one, so I'm just gonna use, ooh, maybe like a darker one. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, nice dark brown. I just kind of like just got it in like that. I don't think I'm doing this right. This brush probably isn't very good because I used glue on it. Oh, Man. It's so hard to talk without cracking my face, honestly. <gasps> I had a little brush that came with it the whole time. Perfect. I could have just used this. It just looks like I got a bunch of feces all over my forehead now. Am I in the Lion King? I really hope they don't use feces for that scene. You know what I'm talking about. We're gonna get some of our red right there. Put it just like that. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. I feel like I'm probably not. Okay, now we gotta make some fake blood. Okay, so here's our honey. Here's our food dye. I'm gonna take this out really quick. Here we go. That looks like some good honey. Uh, yeah, that is some good honey. Uh, Yummy. Let me get a couple of little drops of food dye. I'm gonna have food dye all over my forehead after this. I don't even know where I put my ear swab. I have them somewhere. Okay, I'm just gonna use this to kind of mix it up. It's the, it's the end of the brush. It doesn't look bad. It's very bright red. I'm probably using uh, the wrong color. Yeah, so what they did was they put a little bit of blue in there. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. Just a little tiny one drop. There we go. And mix that up. Oh, now it's just very purple. I guess it looks like a darker blood. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, and then it looks like what they did was they took some of the blood and then they just kind of did a right across, just like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that this looks pretty good. That looks kind of realistic. Now I gotta conjure up some kind of tear. Let's see if I can do this. Gotta think of sad things. Um, dead puppies. Oh, that's really sad. That's a little too sad for me. Uh, what, what else is sad? Um, I dropped my ice cream cone. Spilled milk. Wait, you're not supposed to cry over spilled milk. Don't cry over spilt milk, kids. Interactor, Robbie. Come on, you gotta get that Grammy. Okay, gotta cry. Gotta cry. Why is this so easy when I'm alone in my bedroom? I'm just kidding. Come on. Cry, you dumb eye. <laughs> Oh no, I cut my forehead. I fell. Okay, let's show Tori. Let's see if she actually believes this. Tori Dabransky, I fell down the stairs and I cut open my forehead. I need you to give it kisses to make it feel better. I didn't hear you fall down the stairs. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a silent faller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely really good at falling silently. Benji, help me. I fell. I'm bleeding on my fucking head, Benjamin. Help me. Wow, he won't wow, even, he, even. He doesn't care. Benjamin, it's rude. Tori, I need you to kiss my forehead and give it kisses. I need to, I need you to make it all better. Does it look good? Does it look real? It doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. Are you gonna have to say if this one works? Let's see if this one works. <laughs> Whoa, it's Tori approved, guys. I'm just gonna continuously keep looking crazier and crazier. Okay, I'll see you next time. I mean, I won't see you next time because I, uh, these are definitely not makeup pranks. <laughs> Okay, so this one seems really easy. All I gotta do is play with some moon sand. Yeah! I'm surprised that they even still sell this stuff. Let's just, uh, oh. Yeah, don't need that anymore. So, it looks like we have like little molds of the troll people. And then we got moon sand. Very hard moon sand, by the way. I don't know if that means it's gone bad or anything, but <laughs> yeah, so let's just do, let's go with blue, cause I love blue. So here we go. Oh, it's so sparkly. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This does not feel like very nice sand. I feel like the sand might be expired or something. I don't know if sand expires, but it, it definitely doesn't feel correct. Maybe it's because it's not proper moon sand. I don't know. So I guess what we're gonna do is fill this guy up with some sand. Sand. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, that seems pretty compacted. Let's move this away. And apparently, he's just supposed to pop out. Woo! It worked! Yeah, so here's our little guy. Now it's time to cut him up. Yeah, isn't this gonna be so satisfying, so relaxing? Let's start with his hair, maybe? Oh, yeah. This is real satisfying. Just cut. Yeah. Is that good? <laughs> oh, no. I really don't know how this is super satisfying. Kind of makes me a little sad. I'm cutting this little guy up. Let's go ahead and do another one. Yeah, that should be good. Just fill this up with sand. Okay. Give the old tap tap. Oh, didn't even even need to. It's great. Okay, let's do another little cut. Yeah! <laughs> let's cut her in half. Okay. This is a little morbid. I don't know if I'm liking this. Well, I've had my fun with this moon, Sam. Uh, I'm ready to go on to the next hack, guys. So I don't actually have any normal wire, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this coat hanger. Let's go ahead and cut that right there and here. 
Looks good, we don't need this anymore. I just have to make a thing for my pencil to go into. There we go. Ah! So I couldn't find a pencil, but I have the Sharpie, so I guess that'll have to do. And it seems like I seem to have done this wrong because it's not fitting. So I guess I'm gonna just uh, pull that out and then maybe shove it there. Come on, there we go. Ah, maybe like that. I don't know how they want me to do this. I never thought that bending wire could be this hard. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I think that uh, should kind of hold. And apparently we just kind of do one of these guys. We bend in like that, and then we bend out like that. And squeeze, okay. Hopefully I kind of did this right. And we're gonna put it in here. And I busted this wire. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we'll try this again. Like that, and then in like this. There we go. Now we'll try this again. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, wish me luck. One, two, and... Ow! Okay, I'm gonna put this out a little bit more. Maybe, maybe this will do it. Ready? One, two, and... Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> I need a second. Okay, so it looks like it actually hit my wall just now, and uh, I have a giant. Oh, that's definitely fresh. So the Sharpie hit my wall, and that splattered all across it like that. If you look closely, you can also see a lot of splatter all over this. So I guess in theory, I guess you could say this would work. If you're gonna do this, uh, I recommend you don't use Sharpie like I did, because that's just dumb. So here's our watermelon. We just have to go ahead and cut that in half really quick. There we go. Very easily. That was kind of scary. It just busted in half. Oh man, this looks like a nice watermelon. Okay, put this off to the side. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and scoop this out. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. I should probably not use a plastic cup like this. What other option do I have? Oh, wait, oops. Anyway, here we go. That's a lot of juice. Almost done. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Put that off to the side. So instead of red jello, I actually got blue jello because I thought it would look cool. So let's hope this doesn't look dumb. Okay, so I really don't know how much jello I'm supposed to use, so I got a couple packages. Anyway, let's do this. So it says we have to add two. Two cups of boiling water and two cups of cold water. So let's go ahead and get our trusty water boiler in here. Some of you guys call it a kettle and you guys make fun of me because I don't call it a kettle. What do you guys call it in your countries? Like, I, I don't even know. Because I feel like a kettle is a little different. Maybe an electric kettle? That would make sense. Anyway, let's boil. Water's all boiled. So we need two cups. Here's one. Here's two. It's technically a two cup cup. You can't even see. Oh man. Come on. Okay, so that's one two cups. There's another two cups. Oh, it is one cup. Oops. So this is two cups. Three and four. That should do it. Ah! You're all foggy. Add two cups of boiling water and then steer for two minutes. There we go. Here's the first one. Oh, that smells so good. Woo! Oh, man. Okay, four cups of jello. Four cups of water. Okay, now it just says to mix for two minutes. Uh, since I added two, does that mean I do it for four minutes? I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to mix it. Okay, that should do it. Now I have to go ahead and add four cups to this, which I don't think that there's gonna be room for four cups in this, so we'll see what happens. Okay, now time to add some cold water. One, two, three. Oh my god, we're getting so close. Oh, no. Okay, cool, it didn't overflow. Benji, what are you doing in the trash? Okay, yeah, it looks good. I definitely made way too much because this is like double the size. So let's go ahead and pour some of this in here. I already know I'm gonna get this all over the place. Come on. Oh man, Maybe if I do it like this. Benjamin, what are you doing in my trash? Okay, yeah, like that. Yeah, that should do it. Pretty full. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge and I'll show you guys the results tomorrow. Okay, so here are the results. It looks like the jello hardened, but I think it might have shrank or like a lot of the jello uh, poured out when I moved it. So I guess I'm just gonna cut some of that off real quick. <laughs> Oh, there's a hair. Okay, there we go. Get out of here. Now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have picked a blue background for this, so uh, uh, one second. Whew, that's much better. Okay, now we just have to cut this to make it look like a normal watermelon. There we go. So I guess just maybe flip it over. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna break this. Uh, okay, there we go. Can I do it? And... Oh no, it's coming out! Oh no! I messed up! I completely messed up! Well, I mean, at least it looks kind of cool. I don't know how you would cut this to make it look like a normal watermelon. Maybe like that? That's not bad. It doesn't really stick to the rind that well, so you just gotta keep that in mind when you do this. But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and say this one kind of works. What the heck am I gonna do with all this jello now? Hmm. Not bad. Okay, guys, so I am outside. Please ignore the wind and also uh, my dog's pooping area. Anyway, so, okay, so here's my hair before. I actually bleach it, so I have some pretty dark roots. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here's the before. Okay, now it's time to put some coke in my hair. Let's hope that this doesn't attract any bees. 
Oh my god. Why does this always happen to me? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so cold. Oh my gosh. Why did I use cold coat? I feel like this is really bad for my hair. It's so sticky. Okay, my hair is uh, drenched in coke now. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit out here for one hour and uh, we'll see how this turns out. So at about 4.15, we're gonna check back. I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, so it's been a little bit over a half an hour and honestly, this is awful. I'm just sitting in the sun with a bunch of coke in my hair. I'm all sticky and I'm hot and I think I'm getting sunburn and this is awful. I hope you guys really enjoy this. <sighs> okay guys, it's been about an hour. Uh, I'm gonna go wash my hair off. So far, I can't really tell. I think it looks a little bit lighter. Um, we'll just go ahead and uh, compare it when my hair is dry, I guess. Okay, so uh, I took a shower, my hair is dry, and I'm gonna have to say that my hair does kind of look a little bit lighter to me. I don't know, I can't really, I can't tell 100%. It was already kind of uh, really light, but I feel like now it's almost like white. So I'm personally gonna have to say that this one works. Okay guys, I've been jokerified. I've been falling down the stairsified. It's not even a thing. Now it's time to make it look like I'm breaking out because there's nothing like going through puberty again, am I right? Here we go. So it looks like I, I get a little bit of red eyeshadow. Do we get that red? I'm gonna put it right here, right underneath, like right there. Yeah, looks good. I think I might have put a little too much. Then I need eyelash glue. I don't have any eyelash glue, so I'm gonna go ask Tori for that. Tori Dabrowski, can I borrow your eyelash glue? Yes, I just need to give myself a, a zit. That's fine, it's my room. Thank you! Hey, we're, we're in your room. Your room's a big place. My top area. <laughs> I don't even know. Where would it be? Oh, eyelash glue! What does it even look like, Tori? Table? What does it look like? Uh, I don't think this is it. I think that's mascara. Oh, is this eyelash glue? It says, light ultra fair. Bye bye under eye. Sounds like a boy band song or something. I don't even know where it went. It would just be on the table. Oh, it was right on the table. I feel so silly. Okay, we go. Okay, so we got our eyelash glue. Apparently we just take this out and then we give ourselves just the tiniest little dot. Yeah. Oh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Yeah, there's our dot. I think I might have given myself a little too much, but it's fine. Yeah, it looks good. And then it doesn't say that we're supposed to let it dry. So we're just gonna go ahead and get yellow right here. And we just put it right over it. Yeah, see? That doesn't look like a zit at all. And I think I might have gotten some <laughs> some sparkles in it. Can't really tell uh, just from looking at it, but there's definitely some sparkles in this. This doesn't look like a real zit at all. So guys, I'm gonna have to say it. This one doesn't work. Oh, okay guys, so here are our combs, here's our knife, and here's our blowtorch. Let's just go ahead and heat this up. That should be hot enough. Okay, now let's try this. You ready? Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, here we go. And oh my god, this is so hot. Oh my gosh. That just eats through it. Ah, uh, that's kind of gross. Okay, I'm not exactly enjoying this. How do I get it off? Ah, uh, okay, I do it with the other end. And it's not hot anymore. Okay, time to heat it up again. Was that satisfying? Was this good? Did you guys enjoy it? Okay, yeah, this looks pretty good. A little bit, uh, you know, smoky, but, you know, a little bit of smoky smoke. Never hurt anyone. Okay, next one. You ready? Oh, this is actually kind of scary. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Ugh, I smell plastic burning. Uh, it's good? It's stuck. It's stuck. Nope. Yeah, this is great. Isn't it nice? It's, it's great, right? Okay, might as well do this last one, I guess. Okay, maybe if I put the fork on the knife this time, let's let's try that. You ready? Oh, that looks so weird. Wow. Okay. Well, if you ever want to reshape a comb, this is how you do it. It's good. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Look at these beautiful pieces of art. Yeah, these are great. Why would you want a dumb regular comb when you could have these beauties, okay? Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say this one works. Pretty satisfying, I guess. Okay guys, so here are our bath bombs. Let's just go ahead and get the... What the, Toby? Oh, uh, what were you doing in there? Oh, uh, definitely not eating bath bombs. <laughs> Toby, you're not supposed to eat those. <laughs> Why are you telling me now I can't get it out? Oh, Toby, what am I gonna do with you? Uh, 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 oh gosh, that was awful. Okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Okay, now that we got that all situated, maybe I should have chose a pink background. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. 
That's a little better. So here's our bath bomb. Here's our knife. We're just gonna go ahead and start cutting these uh, bath bombs up. Oh yeah, that's real satisfying. Yeah, it looks great. I feel like I'm gonna cut my finger off. This actually feels dangerous. I don't know, I don't really like this at all. I'm not digging this. I think it's making my knife really dull too. So I feel like this one, uh, it doesn't feel very satisfying and it, it like just kind of wastes a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one isn't, it, it doesn't work. You can't cut bath bombs with a knife. It just, it's just not a thing. It's just not good. Okay guys, so here's our iPhone case. Here's our ramen. I'm actually using ramen because I couldn't find any of that weird uh, plastic, whatever that's called. So I guess what we're gonna do is just, um, yeah, that ought to do it. Just kind of sprinkle that up over there. Put that off to the side. Don't need that. And here's our case. There we go. One on the inside. Okay, it looks good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue them on. Okay, now we just have to wait for this to heat up. Okay, it looks like we're all good. Let's do this. Now I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle this ramen on here. I mean, I'm gonna put big chunks on at first. This big chunk, and then this chunk. I put a little bit more hot glue under there. There we go. Sprinkle it on. Okay, looks like it's uh, it's all staying on. Yeah, not bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear all this out really quick. Okay, so now it's time to add our eggs. I actually don't have any little eggs, so I guess this is just gonna have to do. Haha, -ha, perfect. One more. Yeah, it looks good. And now you have a styling fashion phone case. If you have this on your phone, it's definitely gonna be original. Well guys, I guess we could say that this one works. So instead of using my phone camera, I'm gonna go ahead and use my, uh, you know, nice fancy camera. Here are our pantyhose. I'm pretty sure that's what these are called, right? So I guess we just cut a little bit off like that, and then we gotta stretch it over the lens. Just like that. Oh, I'm gonna use this rubber band to make sure that it stays like properly stretched out. There we go. Okay, and we got our little model right here. Here's our Bulbasaur. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it wants to focus right now. I'm gonna have to manually focus it. It doesn't look like anything's really changed with it, besides it's more foggy. So here's our first photo with the sepia filter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, and then we'll compare and contrast. And here's without the sepia filter. Okay, so let's see. I mean, it kind of adds a little bit of a sepia look, but uh, I'm not really digging it. I would say just change it in, in camera. Like, most cameras have a sepia filter built in, like even phone cameras. So, I would say that this one, uh, it kind of works, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Okay, so let's start out with our pack of screws. We only need one, really, so there we go. Get that out of there. Then we're gonna get our toothbrush. Ugh. Okay, yeah, orange. That's a, one of my least favorite colors, but it's okay. I should really invest in some tin snips or something. But why the heck would I use tin snips when I have this guy? Let's do it. Perfect. Yeah, that worked. This is looking a little rough, so uh, let's just go ahead and sand that out a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my drill. And I think I was supposed to do this part first, but who the heck cares? Here we go. You can do it! Uh, 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 uh. Maybe this will work. Okay, yeah, that, uh, that, that looks okay. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put that on. Yeah, this looks great. Now let's try it out. So I know that they used a shower in theirs, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a sink for this. So here's our little cup. That should be enough water. And apparently we just put some hand soap in there. It looks like I'm pretty out of hand soap. Do I have any in here? Oh, hand soap. Are you in here? Where the heck is my hand soap? I can't seem to find any hand soap, but I found the shampoo, so. Oh, that's very watery shampoo. Okay, let's do this. Now let's try and clean the sink. Uh-oh, the screw came loose. I'm gonna try it this way now. Okay, 
Yeah, now let's uh, let's go ahead and rinse this off so we can see how good it looks. I did exactly half the sink so you can see how dirty it is, and I'm gonna have to say that this actually kind of cleaned it. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Hey guys, so here's our vinyl glove, here's our syringe, and here's all the stuff we're gonna be filling the fingers of this glove with. So I guess we'll start off with this one. Oh, I just broke that. Oops. It's not coming out. Come on. Oh yeah, that worked great. So we're just gonna put that into the glove right there. Oh yeah, that's working out real good. Yeah, so we're just gonna squish that in there a little bit. Okay, next one. It doesn't seem to want to work with body gel. <gasps> Come on. Well, yeah, yeah, that should be enough. Next finger, and just put all that in there. Yeah, it looks good. Next is Fast Orange. This is actually used for like uh, mechanics to clean their hands. Can't live without this stuff. We're just gonna... Oh, no, I got it all over it. Okay, uh, well, let's try this, I guess. Maybe this one wasn't a good idea because it has pumice in it. Pumice is like little rocks. I mean, it still came out. Oh man, that looks so gnarly. Blech. Last but not least, the Irish Spring. Cool, put that in there, and boom! Yeah, it looks like we're all good. Oh no, my Irish Spring's gotten to my fast orange. Next, we're gonna get our blowtorch and our knife. We're just gonna go ahead and heat that baby up. Bringing back the 1,000 degree knife challenge, baby! Oh yeah, look at all that fun stuff just dripping off of it. This thing has definitely gotten some use. Here we go, so we just uh, do that. Oh yeah, that smells really good. Heat it up again. Here we go, oh that smells awful. And we should have little packets of uh, cleaner stuff. Oh man, these are just leaking all over the place. I would not trust these in my bag. Honestly guys, at this point, just buy little portable bottles. They're like 50 cents each at Walmart. Come on, do you really gotta do this? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't really work. Okay, so here's my truck. As you can see, it's very messy in the back, and I apologize. Here are our tools right here, and as you can see, you just kind of put that in, and then twist that, and the tire starts coming down. Now, with this, I have like literally no place to put my drill. I want to put it on here. It'll, I don't know. I feel like that's just a bad idea. I can't attach to this, because this literally goes in there, and then... Maybe I can, I don't know. No, that doesn't even fit in there. I was thinking I could put it in there and then cut this part off and then maybe put that into the drill, but that wouldn't even work because this side doesn't even fit. I could cut this whole thing off, but then I would be out a potential like tire lift. So that's not a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one kind of varies between cars. Okay, so here's our orange, here's our cup of water, here's our syringe, just gonna suck up some water, just like that. Yeah, that should be enough. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Then apparently we just put it into the orange, and then uh, we squeeze it, squeeze all the water in. I can tell that this is gonna be a very juicy orange. Okay, now apparently this should make it so that it's really easy to peel. Let's do this. Okay, not bad. That juice is definitely getting everywhere. I mean, it's not really that much easier. It's not coming apart like it showed in the video, so maybe I'm just supposed to pull it apart? Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about this. This definitely doesn't make it easier to peel. It feels like it's about the same. Oh man, this poor orange. <laughs> okay, yeah. This feels like it's about as easy to peel as it would normally be. Let's see if it tastes any different. It's definitely way more watery than a normal orange. I mean, it doesn't really taste that much better at all. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one kinda works? I don't know. At least I got an orange out of it. And that's all that really matters. Eat your vitamin C, kids. It's great for you. Now I just have a, kind of like a big mess. <laughs> okay, so here's our weird uh, meat tray thing. Let's just go ahead and cut this in half. Yeah, it looks good. Now just get our glue gun. Ooh, got some glue on there. And we just outline the outside of it. Yeah, it looks good. Now we're just gonna slap these bad boys together and boom. Okay, 
And now we have ourselves a perfect little meat tray, uh, a pocket pencil holder thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. The glue's still a little hot, so I'm gonna wait for this to cool down, and then we'll put it on my wall. So here's a nice blank part of my wall that uh, I think it would, uh, you know, fit perfectly in. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these thumbtacks in it. Uh, that way it, you know, can stick to the wall. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right there. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Can go ahead and put some fun uh, pens in there, some pencils. Yeah, not bad. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna say it. This one works. Okay, so here are our batteries. This one's dead, this one's alive. Apparently, if we just drop them, uh, the live one will stand up straight, and the dead one will just fall on its uh, on its face. So, uh, let's do this. One, two, and. They're both, I, this is literally brand new. Okay, one, two, and. No, one, two, and. This one's dead. Okay, we'll try this again. Ready, one, two, and. No. That one's dead. It's freaking dead. Let's see if it works with nine volts. This one's dead, this one is brand new. Ready, one, two, and. Nope, they both fell. One, two, and. Nope. So obviously this doesn't work. This straight up doesn't work. Okay guys, well, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so here's my one million subscriber plaque. Let's just go ahead and flip that over. We just get our piece of paper, get our Sharpie. Just kind of feel where the holes are, I guess. Let's go like that, and one like that. Okay, cool, now we know where the holes are. Let's try this. All I'm gonna be hanging it up on, so I'm just gonna go ahead, put it right here. One thumb pack right here. Another one right here. Okay, it looks good, then apparently we just tear this away. Hang it up. Whoa! Well guys, I guess we can say that this one, oh. Well guys, I guess we said this one works! Oh my gosh, I just love these chips! Oh wait, I need to get rid of the product placement. Uh, yeah, that ought to do it. Yeah, I just love these generic chips. Oh man, there's so many crumbs in here. Oh, I just spilled all the crumbs! No! Well, it's time to test this bad boy out. So first we gotta get our water bottle. Cut that in half, put that right here. I feel like uh, the water bottle is supposed to be a little bigger, um, so I think I might have messed up on that. Nothing a little bit of duct tape won't fix. Am I right, guys? I probably should have done this before I did the whole spilling the chips bit. That way I would have had a clean workspace. Uh-oh. Yeah, that'll do. Just take that cap off, then we get a sock, just like that. I think this is to like catch everything or something. I don't really know. Anyway, let's see if we can vacuum up these chips. Here we go. Ooh, oh my God. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my gosh. There was like smoke coming out of my dryer. It did work though, but that's very scary. Dude, I think they're trying to kill us. Why was there smoke coming out of my dryer? Okay, I'll do it one more time just to show you guys. Oh my god, oh my god, yeah, there's smoke coming, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's so scary. Dude. Well yeah, that's a good way to break your stuff. I'm gonna have to say that this one works, but I wouldn't recommend it, so thumbs down for me. Okay guys, I don't know if I could do this one. It seems a little complicated to me. So I guess we're just gonna twist my hair like that. And then we get our hair straightener. And we just kind of do this. Keep twisting it. My hair's gonna be so curly and perfect after this. I mean, if that's what you're into, I guess. How are we looking? Nope, that's definitely not curly. Maybe I have to do it a few more times. Twist it real good. Here we go. Leave it on a little bit longer maybe. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. Is my hair curly yet? Why is there red in my hair? Oh, it's from the blood. How are we looking? Does that look curlier now? It doesn't really look like it made my hair curly at all, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so here's our test wood, here are our pliers, and here's our nail. Now we're just gonna try the first one out. I wonder if this one will work. Wow, it works! 
Okay, next one. So I don't have any full-size clothespins, but I have these mini ones. I guess they'll have to do. Mini clothespin for mini nails. Get out of here, little clothespins. Okay, clip it right in there. Okay. I wonder if this one will work. One, two. Whoa, that was scary. I feel like this would be a lot safer if I had a full-size clothespin. Regardless, it still works! Woo! Now I have so many little clothespins everywhere. Fun fact, Tori clamped one of these on my nipples and it hurt really bad. Okay, so here are our boba straws. Here's our bobby pins. Let's put that right here. You just kind of use it to hold it shut, just like that. And we're gonna close that end up just like that. Oh no, I melted off the bottom. That's not good. Okay, we'll try this. Oh, it's hot. Okay, we'll try this again. I'm gonna clip a little bit of this off. There we go. Okay, I think we did it that time. Cool. Now I don't have cream, but I have fast orange. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some of that in there. Just gotta get it down there. Come on. Okay, cool. We got it in the tube. Just gonna cut some of that off. And then we're gonna put the bobby pin back on. There we go. Other side just to be safe. And there we go. We now have a perfect little tube full of fast orange. I'm not sure how much I would really trust this like on a plane or really long travel. But I mean it's good to just kind of keep there. But if anything goes on top of it, it's just going to pop open. I'm pretty sure. Let's try it. I mean it just broke open. And boom. Awesome. Now I got some fast orange for my hands. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one kind of works. Okay guys, so I got my fancy camera with my flash. Now this camera already has a diffuser thing on it along with like this credit card uh, thingy that also diffuses light. So I feel like it's gonna be pretty diffused already. <laughs> okay, so here is our subject. He's pretty cute, doesn't he? He is a little bulbasaur. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that right here. And I'm gonna take a photo with a normal flash and we'll see how that turns out. I think it's not turning out too bad. Uh, I took a few test shots, here you go. They do seem a little bit harsh, so let's go ahead and try this bag method. So I guess we just uh, put the bag over our flash like that, and theoretically it'll diffuse it more. Here we go. Oh wow, that's not bad. Oh. That actually looks pretty nice. The colors look a lot more uh, natural and they're not as harsh. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to definitely say that this one works. Well, I guess I gotta tell Tori that I'm gonna be bringing a plastic bag on our photo shoots from now on. <laughs> Okay guys, so I got Tori here, and now we're gonna try this. Okay, so, uh, do you wanna go first, or should I? I go like this. Okay. This. Straighten your shoulders. Yeah. So, here you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, a little tall there. Here, try it again. <laughs> do I have to stand with my legs together at the end? No, I think yeah. it has to be just like that. Like more like on, on the side, because you're more forward like that. Here we go. Ready? Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, it worked! Yay! Your turn. It's a little off. This is a little high. Well, I guess we could say that this one kind of... Ki Tori, you need to be afraid. <laughs> I'm just like dancing like this behind you. I guess we could say that this one kind of works. <laughs> Here's our drill. Yeah, it looks good. Here's our apple. Apparently we just stick that in there. Just like that. There we go. Wow, okay, cool. Here's our peeler. Let's do this. It's not working. I'm gonna try it with the other hand, maybe. Oh, it's working. Wow. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Mm. It's a good apple. Okay, so we're gonna start out with our hoodie right here. Looks good. And then we get a shirt and do this. Actually, I think we're supposed to fold this in like this first. Then we get a shirt and we do that. Then we get another shirt and another. Looks good. And one last one. So apparently we just fold these in, then fold this in, and we fold this in, and this one, and fold these, and fold these, and then fold this one, and then fold this one, and fold this in, and fold this one in, and then boom! We have a clean little package. The only problem I have with this is like, what if I want one of these shirts in the middle? Then I have to dig through this whole thing and redo everything just to get to it. It's so much better just to fold your shirts or roll them at this point. I personally roll them because I, I feel like it makes them a lot more compact, uh, but that's just me. So, I mean, I guess this kind of works if you're into that. I need water. I need water. Water. 
melon? thing. Let's see, do I have anything in my pockets? <gasps> okay, well I guess I'll try it. So we just, uh, <laughs> maybe I can get a rock and, oh man, come on. Ah, this is so hard. Ah! Almost. And it went through! Okay, just gotta do it all the way around. I'm doing it! Oh no, I almost lost it. I almost lost my coin. Ugh. There's some points where it just doesn't want to go through. Oh my gosh, I'm not even halfway done. Why is this so hard? This hurts my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna start on the other side, because that's that's too much for me. I just get it in a really thick part of the rind. Ow! Look, my hands are starting to turn green. It's like I'm the Hulk or something. This is so much harder than I thought. Ah, I did it! For the love of five minute crafts, I really hope that this works. Okay. Now apparently it should just break right in half. One, two, and ah! Come on, why aren't you breaking in half? Ah! Well guys, I guess we can say it works! Who am I talking to? Okay. I wonder if there's a cleaner way to eat this. Okay, so here's our mascara. We're just gonna test it out on this eye first. Let's see, so look it, oh my gosh. I'm just so bad at doing my mascara and I get it all over the top of my eye. Wow, I have some really like luscious eyelashes now. I've never worn mascara before. This is so scary. I don't know if I like that, but look it, I got it all over my eyelid. What the heck am I supposed to do? So we're just gonna go ahead and break out our post-it note and then we do this. Yeah, it's working. It's not getting on my eyelid. And look it, I have such luscious eyelashes now. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, drink this whole half gallon of water. Well, here we go. Oh, that was gross. How far have I gone? Oh, I still have that much left. This is like drink mix, by the way. Uh, I can't drink my water normal. Uh, I don't know why. It just, it just tastes so plain. I had to mix a bunch of different flavors because I didn't have enough of one flavor. Uh, so we got lemon. We got lemon berry squeeze. We got Powerade flavoring. It's uh, it's, it's also kind of. It tastes a little funky. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Ugh, ugh, I just puked in my mouth a little bit. That was gross. Okay. Well, uh, now all there is to do is wait. So I'll see you guys when I have to pee. <sighs> okay, guys, it's been about an hour, and I really have to pee now. I gotta, I really, I really gotta go to the bathroom. So apparently, what we gotta do is this. Is this helping? Apparently, this makes it a lot worse. Oh, yeah. That definitely does make it a lot worse. But if we do this, I guess it helps not squish your bladder. I mean, I still definitely really need to pee. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I definitely need to pee still. But when I cross my legs like this, I definitely need to pee more. So I guess they're kind Kind of right if you really think about it. So I guess we're gonna have to say this one it kinda works? I don't know. Okay, 
Okay, so here's our Afro comb. Here's our apple that I'm definitely not reusing from a craft that I just did. So we're just gonna uh, put that in there. I feel like it would definitely work better if it was metal, but uh, oh well. Here we go. Some nice, clean, even cuts. Wow, looks like it's turning out pretty good. These are perfect little apple slices. Oh yeah, okay. So if I ever want some, you know, perfect little apple slices, I know exactly what to do. Well guys, I guess we said this one works. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give a thumbs up. Listen to this fight right down there. If you guys wanna watch me do even more fun five minute crafts, I have a whole playlist dedicated me to doing that stuff right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want the shirts, some stickers, or any cool merch, you can click right here in the description down below. Okay guys, love you so much, I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay, bye!